How about now? Yep, yeah, we're good. Just a load. All right, we're we're at it. Sorry, guys, could not figure that out. I still have no idea what what happened. Boom! What's up, guys? Method, what's up, dude? Shy Town, what's up, my man? I hear my oven. It's preheated, so go throw it in real quick. All right, we're back at it. AZ, what's up, dude? Phil, what's up, my friend? Method, what's up, buddy? So what's going on, fellas? The pipe's texting me, asked me if I was going live. I said, yeah, why don't you join? Never heard back. So what's going on? I got some cool news. Maybe I don't know if I should wait. I don't know. If, I basically woke up. But her, Phil, train's leaving. Oi. Where you at, buddy? Talk to me. I don't know what happened right there. Dude. No idea. Where you at, Phil? <clears throat> if you can catch that, let me know. I always get like the biggest burps every time I stream. <clears throat> there should be a way to like have like a hot links for like when you're trying to invite somebody, there should be like a list of like recently used. Uh, method, what do you do for work? I want a desk job, something I could just go to work and work and not have to worry about. So I'm in retail, I sell cars. 
it's I, you know it's my my paycheck is dictated um, let me figure this out hold on Uh, my paycheck is dictated by the people I talk to. I don't like that crap. Obviously, I can talk, but it'd just be nice to go sit. Is it working? Hear me, Phil? It I would hear just you. Be nice to go to work and sit there and like put my eight hours in and leave. I gotta like talk to the general public, and I don't want to talk to anybody, especially about something I don't want to talk about. I don't care about cars. What's up? Look how nice it is behind you. Yeah, dude. It's perfect it's weather hot. right now. It's dark here. Which actually it stays it stays light out to like uh I don't know, like seven or something now, which is pretty cool. But you're actually what time is it for you right now? Five, almost six. It's, yeah, it's three hours different, right? Pacific okay. Pacific Standard Time. Yep. So I see you wearing a bulk reef supply shirt. I woke up oh, to yeah. an email today. I woke up to an email about. Yeah, all my uh, I got an order from them today. I had to have to change all my um, membranes, RO membranes, carbon. I need to do that too. Blocks. Yeah. How, how many just, stages you? Got? I got um, sediment, two carbons, and uh, two RO membranes, and then one canister of DI resin. So what's that? Uh, five stage? Five, yeah, five stage. So I woke up to an email today. I want another giveaway. Oh, you did? I did. I bulk reef supply giveaway. Oh no! What'd you get? I saw. Uh, no, the Hannah test kit. Kit. Oh, it's it has like all, all of them. Yeah. Calcium, alkaline magnesium and i think the ph one but i could have swear i saw like the salinity one on there too so i don't know yet right on that's, that's cool. cool heck yeah yeah I, I just i recently bought a alkalinity one from them so i might just sell that or i don't know maybe give it away to somebody on here i don't know um but yeah that was pretty cool they said they're gonna ship it out immediately so next couple days i should should have all the testing so i got like an old a couple old ones because they all come with black cases now right I'm not sure. I have I have a couple old ones that are white cases, and I, I bought them like three years ago, and they were used when I bought them. So yeah, all of all of mine Murphy, are in black it? cases, but I've had them for a couple of years. Yours are in black, yeah. So I think I think they were old when they have white cases. Yeah. So did you get that fitting um, situation fixed with the calcium reactor? Uh, not yet. I. I'm going to, I was actually, I reached out to bulk reef supply the other day. I was like, look, like, um, I was just basically like, what fitting should I buy? I heard John something. I always forget whatever the John, whatever. John, uh, yes. John. Yeah. So that, I've, obviously that's what I need to get. And they were like, well, why do you need that? And I was like, because it came with this fitting and they looked online on their website and it shows like a push connect for like RO tubing kind of with a ball valve. I, that's what it looks like. You can't really get that into it. Right. Um, to, uh, Pat says 2012 Hannah calcium checkers in, in a white box. I think I have a calcium. I have two. I don't know what I have. I know I have a red one and something else. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I was like, what fitting do I get? And he was like, kind of like diving in. It was just like the live chat. And he said, um, basically it looks like there's a push connect on the website. And I told him, that's not what I have. I have a ball valve with like a, half inch two barbed fitting like that's what i have um <clears throat> what's up davis what's up tom uh, so they're like well that's interesting that's not what it shows i think they just go to their own website and look at what their product are and then and then tell me about it uh but it's not what i have the tubing's black on there i have orange which i like the orange better i'm not complaining but i had to send him an email today about my my calcium reactor so they're going to let me know when I need it, I guess. I sent it this morning. Yeah, if you don't want to wait, dude, just take that um, little barb you have, take it to Home Depot, and just match up the threads, and then on the other end, have it so our narrow line can push into it. 
so one that's side will be one side will be threaded just like your just like the barb is one side will be threaded and then the opposite side will have sides. the ro quick connect where you can just push an ro tube in there or it'll be quick so how would i do that if i'm gonna run my tom my tom's aqua lifter just run I it right to that yeah you yeah, put, I can't shove an ro yeah yeah you can yeah. it's perfect it'll work yeah i didn't know that yeah and if not just get some you can also get some quarter inch clear tube um the one from home depot the outside diameter is one quarter inch and it'll plug into the um aqua lifter and it'll also plug into that push connect all right we're here oh, here we go that's not what i need either another window open right here yeah all right, so here we go. Um, all right. So if I want to go here, go. I'll do Ebates. I've been doing Ebates a lot lately because I order so much crap from like Amazon and eBay. Man, my my internet's slow right now. I can wait another couple days. So what is, um, well, I don't know what for. size, I don't know what size those threads are, but you're going to want, it looks like half inch. You know what's up, up? It looks like half inch on the video. And so I'd say a half okay, inch threaded like to a quarter oh, inch push connect, RO push connect. So what, what would I type in? Half inch to a quarter inch RO push connect. Yeah. Man, this is slow right now. Yeah, Maybe it's because I'm yeah. streaming. Probably. We don't need a pack of them. But you got to make sure that those threads are half inch. Half inch thread mail to a quarter inch. Yep, and that's all you need. And just Threads screw that on and... I said, just make sure that those the threads on the barb that are on it right now are half inch. They All might right, be three quarters. You're like cutting it out. <clears throat> oh, you... I'm saying, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Good. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> no, what I was saying is, make sure so that I'm that. I just didn't want to read, right? Well, you got to make sure the threads are the same that are on the barb this, that you have now. I don't know if they're half inch or three quarter. I don't know either. Just take it to Home Depot with you and match them up. That way you know you got the right one. All right. See the one on the top right with the blue little clip on it? Yeah, right here. You're going to want something like that. I wonder if it's my connection or if it's yours. Why am I breaking up? Yeah, I can't even hear you at times. Oh, that's weird. Can you see the tank? Uh, look, uh, look, what's up, pretty girl? Yeah, it's like real choppy too. I wonder if it's my connection. Oh no, I can hear you perfect. Can you? Well, maybe it's your connection then. Let me let me it's all go all out. Like static. Let, yeah, let me go out and I'll come back in and see if it helps. All right. I don't know if it's my connection. Can you guys hear me in the in the comments? Can you guys hear me fine? It's not choppy or lagging or whatever you want to say. It was cool to have Devin on last night. 
<sighs> Loud and clear. Appreciate it. 10 4. Um, it was cool to have Devin on last night. I was pretty anxious to debate about calcium reactors. I'm glad he cleared it up. But I didn't know that people. Is that any better? Uh, nope. Same shit. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I got pretty fast. I got pretty fast internet. Um, so you, you weren't in here last night, but Devin Rich came on and because I had a bunch of calcium reactor questions. I didn't know people, the reason for the Kimura pump is because they run the effluent wide open and just like, however, how constant the Kimura is, is what comes out of the other end. I, I didn't know that that's how it worked. Yeah, but I do have, you can dial it in. You, I have an oven. Give me one second. No, your tank's cool, bro. Thank you. I've always liked your tank. It was crazy because you never used to show it. Then, boom! Here it goes, full blown, colorful. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a mess when I first started. I had a rough time, man. Hey, uh, in the comments, is his feed choppy and like distorted? Or is that, is that just me? I don't know if everybody can see that clearly. Yeah, how does the video look on YouTube? I don't know. It looks clear on my uh, – I'm looking at my phone. Yeah, it does It's clear. Dude, look at those. Look at that torso. Look how long it is. Yeah. Nano Man says the tank is pretty. Nicely done. Thank you. Urban Reef, what's up, buddy? He said that's a nice system. Yeah, it is. DC was on. I, I streamed last night just randomly. I, I guess I am the random streamer. Uh, but DC was on, and he was, like, showing his 150. It's not a cube, but it's basically good. Jay says it's clear. What's up, Jay? Carrie, how are you, buddy? Um, he was showing his 150, and it's a nice setup. He, like, really didn't care about budgeting for this tank he, he really went all out so it should be a nice setup be really yeah i've nice. seen it before it's pretty nice for sure my uh friend down the street has a tank it's the same dimensions as that it's not the uh innovative marine but it's um it looks pretty nice man it's a big chunky tank and you can walk on all, all around each side so you get it like a different perspective version tank so it is pretty cool I'm going to try and uh, – I did it. I just switched my Wi-Fi's. Maybe this one's faster because you're like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, you were coming in like – can you hear me better now? Because um, you were coming in the same way to me a minute ago. That must have been what it is. So I switched – because we have three different Wi-Fi's. So I just put on the fastest one. So we are good now. It's still not clear when I'm watching you, but to everybody else it is. Tom, what's up, buddy? Joey, how you doing, man? I don't have a life. It's video games, to work, to my daughter, to live streaming, or YouTube, I should say, and repeat. <laughs> so you were talking about the affluent, Mike. You can see the drip. Well, maybe you can see it. You see yeah, the drip rate on mine? Really see it? No, it's it's all like distorted on mine. I mean, I can, I get what stuff is, but I guess it's going. So that's like two a second. Well, that's the drip rate, and so what I do is I have the Komora. I have the Komora set up at uh, fifty-two mils a minute. So you don't run it wide open then. No, it's not wide open. It's exactly 52 mils a minute. Yeah, well, I'm saying not the Kimura, the, the effluent exit. 
That's that's what that's what Devin was saying last night is that the whole reason for Kimura is because you run the other end wide open and whatever that's pushing in comes out the other end so you can fine tune it that way. Because I was like, why would I why would I care well, about? Yeah, I think you might have missed. I think what he was talking about is you have that pinch valve, and with the Kimura, you don't run a pinch valve; you run it wide open. No, he was talking about the other one because he was. Th- th- this is what I gathered. He was basically saying, "Well, my, my argument was why get a Kamora pump when it doesn't matter how much wa- water I'm pumping into the reactor. It, it matters how much I'm regulating to come out. So why do I care what it is? Maybe it's going to put a little more strain on my whatever pump I'm using to feed." Um, but he was like, no, you run it wide open, and he was like, whatever the flow rate coming out of the Kimura is what's going to come out the other end when the fluent line is wide open. So that's right. I didn't understand that. But I didn't know they ran it wide. I didn't know people yeah. ran it wide open like, like that. Well, my, yeah, well, see, mine is wide open, but what's coming out of that end, that drip, is what this thing is is pulling. It's pulling the water through at that rate and putting it back into the tank. But with the lifter on here, what I did is you see this pinch valve right here? Yep. Well, that was hooked up to the affluent line, and you just, you know, you crank that closed until you have just like a beaded drip. And I actually tested mine with one of those plastic uh, beakers with the lines on there, yep. and it was coming out at um, 60 mils a minute. That's where I started mine at. I need a second. I'll be right back. Give me, I don't know. I just got to run and take stuff out of the oven. All right. A little pizza. And probably should have, or ate earlier, I guess. But show the people. I'll be right You're always leaving on your streams. Smoke. <laughs> Sorry. Smoke breaks. Sorry. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, that's the hardest that's the hardest part, man. What's up, Gabe? Um when I need to go outside. I mean that's certainly the hardest part. Uh if you use uh this is hot ashes. If you use a Kimura, you don't need a pump to push water into reactor. Yes. Right. Correct. The effluent and pulls flow through, hence why do you don't need a pump. Yeah, I, I get that. That is the pump. Um what else but yeah. I get what you're saying. The peristaltic pump. So, oh. Hey, Sherry. So with, so with the aqua lifter, Mike, you're just going to use that pinch valve that you bought on the end, and that way you can choke it down a little bit because it'll probably come out too fast for you. I mean, you could run it faster, but then you just have to raise uh, the pH in the reactor a bit. Yeah, this little guy is what the reactor came with. Yeah, I wouldn't use it. Just I have it, but yeah, that twenty five dollar ball valve that you got, yeah, I got one of those or gate valve or whatever that little thing is. Yeah, a little pinch valve. Yeah, that thing, uh, needle valve is what. Yeah, that's what they advertise, needle valve. Yeah, that's what I got. Mermaids Reef, what's up? Yeah, it's look, it's still a little choppy, but it's looking much clearer now. Look at that fish tank. I don't know how you keep the sand bed so clean. I don't really do much. I have uh, some conchs, some um, Nisaria snails, and a sand sifting star. And I know that's a lot of people say they um, the sand sifting stars eat all your microfauna, but my sand bed is mainly just for looks. Yeah, I don't really. Me too. And uh, it's pretty shallow. You can see where the the pumps have blown a bald spot in it. That's new. But it's well, I just haven't. I mean, even my glass is dirty right now, but yeah, real dirty. 
But um, yeah, it's real shallow. And then uh, before I do my, um, I do water changes every 10 days and I'll just take a turkey baster and either like kind of blow the sand up or like a piece of PVC pipe and just kind of stir it around and it stays, it might be the sand too. It's um, Tropic Eden Oh, yeah. and it's real, sure. it's real uh, like universal in size. I'm just using whatever I got. What is it? Oh, yeah, carob C probably. I have carob C yeah. in the other tank, and yeah. it's good sand too. But it just doesn't. It's um like all different little sizes and shapes. Yeah, I don't even stuff. know what I have to be honest with you. I have forty pounds of something, and I know the other. T I have sixty pounds in there. Twenty of it's the oolite, or the no, the Fiji pink. Twenty is the Fiji pink. Maybe the other forty is oolite. Maybe. You know, it's funny. I was seeing that red planet the other day on Rico's, where it's like. Or on Rico stream showing yours, it's like half inch away from the glass, and you keep got to trim it back. Yeah, look, that's funny. It's like right there. Yeah, you can see all the edges where I have to keep trimming it, or my magnet. It's the glass, just grow straight up because they hit the glass. And it started. Uh, let's see if I can see it. You see that little nub? Right at the end of my finger right yep. there, this little yep. nub. That's what it started from. That's cool. What was the time frame, a year? It's um, th it's going to be two years old next month. But, yeah, yep. everything in here started from uh, one-inch frags. And then uh, all the Zoa colonies started like two to three heads probably for each one. I like how you do that. That's what I want to do with mine is just keep my Zoas on like their own rocks. Yeah, this one here, um, the utter chaos took off, and I have Rastas. You can kind of see them mixed in here. Yeah, you can. Uh, but they kind of cho choked them out, so they're kind of overtaking them. Between uh, my chem and then the Rastas have kind of taken them over. But well, the Rastas, like. And then the yeah, and then these here are Sunny D's. And they're kind of overtaking the – well, I got these from a guy in Ohio, uh, Lazy's Frag House. He calls them Lazy Lashes, but they're pretty cool too. Yeah, those are cool. I see, this, I see the uh, Bam Bams next to it. Yeah, Bam Bams and uh, I can't remember something – I don't know. I, I'm not good with all the names. I have it written down, but some kind of Twizzler or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's and then – and then these are the blue-eyed, blonde-haired bitches. <laughs> that name is crazy. That's funny. I just turned the Wi-Fi off my phone, and it actually cleared up the picture. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like your fish tank quite a bit. This guy here, it's a bubblegum digi, but it's not doing too good. Why it just that? doesn't – well, it doesn't put out its polyps hardly ever. It's, it's got color, and it's growing, but – I've tried a piece up here. I have another piece up here, and it does the same thing. I've tried them in a couple different places, and they just don't, for whatever reason, they just don't do good in this tank. Surprised you haven't taken the Philly garden out to give you more stick space. Yeah. I had a big uh, space invader here, and the same thing with that one. It didn't like the tank. So he's in my frag tank. He came back, though. He's back to – he was almost dead in here. Uh, Nando, this is a, that's a Thank new piece. So it's a fox flame. So you're to the point where, like, you got to be real particular about what you put in there, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of, to be honest, I'm kind of out of room. So I was thinking about when's the new build coming? About uh, selling these two pinball machines and just blowing out a tank across this wall here. Like a uh, four hundred. Yeah, like a yeah, about a four hundred. That'd be pretty cool. Huh? So, I'd have to get so many more lights, and I know I you know I start looking at the price tag, dude, and it's so expensive. This one here kind of broke the bank a little bit because I bought. The nice thing about you is you're in California. It seems like everything's in California. So if you're looking for a new tank, you probably got thirty of them within like a hundred mile radius, so you can just drive and get it. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's doing good, man. I built a um, the Red Sea Reef for a cell drain, and and uh, and it started every day. I would have to adjust it every single day. And so I just put this, I reworked the plumbing today. And from the main drain, I just put a Spears gate valve instead of the Red Sea one. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't watch the video. Yeah. I... Uh, Tom Reefman to a key says his bubble gum is doing the same thing. He doesn't know why, though. Yeah, you know, in my frag tank, it does perfect. I don't know if it doesn't like the... It came from a guy that runs Radions, though, and... But that's the only thing I could think of because I've tried it in different spots as far as flow. It just looks kind of like dry or something. I don't know. But in my other tank, it's super fuzzy. Same water parameters, same everything. So I don't really know what, what, what your the deal is tank? with it. Yeah, my frag tank, I run it pretty much the same. The only difference is on that, I'm just using uh, bulk reef supply two-part. Hey, you got magnesium in that calcium reactor? Yeah, I used uh, two little fishies um, remag. That or the Brightwell ones are the ones that are good. And I, and as I was filling it up, just threw in a couple handfuls. And it's working. It's keeping everything right in line. What else are you dosing? I, have, I just started this up, but... Um, Prior to me switching to the calcium reactor, I was using Aquaforest. So I have in the first bottle is Aquaforest component A, B, and C, which are like all your minor trace elements. Sure. And then uh, Acropower, I'm dosing that as well. So is the Acropower what you just started? No, I just started these three components. So I think like number three has like iodine and fluorine part b has some kind of the different heavy metals and part a is strontium and potassium i think I, or no potassium but i just you know i was getting good results from the aquaphora so you know? one bottle should last me you only dose like a few mils a day have you noticed a difference um i just I just started them uh, maybe two weeks ago, so no, not really. I wish I had an area like that for all my equipment. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I just took a um, this this backboard right here is um, actually the shipping crate from the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I just cut out a piece of wood. I hooked it to the back with magnets so I could just pull this out and you know get to the wires and stuff. It's a good idea. Yeah, that came out pretty clean. Looks nice. Show everybody the rest. Yeah, that's it. Show everybody the other side. Show what? Show me the other side. Oh, the other side? Show everybody. Okay. So, uh, um, oh, the first chamber, I just have the all my Apex probes. I'm using the uh, Reef Octopus Varios S8, and then uh, I built this manifold. The first one goes to the, the the second one. There's nothing hooked up to it, and the third one, there's nothing hooked up to it. But I have a Aquamax reactor, and every once in a while I'll run carbon if I need to, and then uh, it goes back to the tank. Um, this is the built-in. Red Sea auto top off. And uh, back here, I just have the Neptune ATK that keeps this filled and then it gravity feeds to keep the tank, you know, level. Mesh filter socks, like skimmer, the and then the uh, Rain 2 algae scrubber. And you did you recently take the Rain 2 offline? You put something up there. No, only time I've ever taken it offline is when uh, I had some bryopsis in this tank, so I used fluconazole, yep. and it'll kill the algae in there, so I just took it out and uh, soaked the screen in some bleach, got it all cleaned up, and then once the fluconazole was over, I 
hooked it back up. And then over here is where the dosing lines come in for the acro power and then the components A, B, and C. And then here the the hard the hard plastic tube right there is like the straw. That's where the Kimura sucks from. Mm -hmm. And then and then this line is the affluent coming back. So you run everything into your return. Yeah, but I mean right now the only thing that the return is only really going to the algae scrubber. And it's pretty low flow. I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you I can see the water. Yeah. But it's pretty slow flow. So it doesn't really cut back too much. The BRS put a video out today. I didn't watch it. I haven't watched any YouTube today really. But they put a video out of um it should be right here somewhere. They put out three videos like back to back to back. Uh, Red Sea Reefer 5.5 XL replacing noisy valve. Um, yeah, the, you're right here. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Stop two part precipitation. They're showing a return pump. I didn't watch it yet, but it's just weird that they're showing a return pump on that. So that'd be an interesting video to watch. Oh uh, yeah, they were just showing how the um, the calcium and stuff builds up in there. You know, sometimes you're I used to have it in my other tank where the pumps would turn like a white crust inside or the heaters. Yeah, of course. So I, yeah. What's up, champ? I mean, you still got some room for some of those colonies to grow out, but. Oh yeah. It's like, when do you, when do you upgrade? Like when do you call it quits on the tank when it's super stuffed? Because your your tank's pretty stuffed. Yeah, I mean, I just now I'm just kind of keeping everything trimmed up and uh, just letting it grow and just taking care of it. I haven't really added anything in a long time. The latest additions were this this uh, fox flame right here. Mm -hmm. This this coral used to be there. Um, this one here used to be there before. And that's just a bird's nest. So I kind of, kind of moving the the you know smaller corals out and getting some you know fancier stuff. There's a that right. There's a Walt Disney. That little yellow in the back. Yeah, the camera, the way the lighting is, it doesn't look right. But yeah, yeah that's the, that's like a Walt Disney, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you look at my pictures on Instagram or um, Facebook, you can get a better idea of how it really looks. Just the tank is so blue. I have one of those orange gel filters on, so it kind of throwing stuff off a bit. That one right there is a um, orange passion. Yeah, I like that one. And those are really those two and the bounce were really my only expensive pieces. And the rest of them kind of came in like a, where you just go to a website and pick like nine frags yeah. and they send you a frag pack. So I got a lot, like I got the red planet that way, the green planet that way. Um, the Cali tort on uh, the tricolor, the uh, PC rainbow and the red dragon I got from a guy online. Yeah. But what's that like a $300 flag, frag pack? Um, I to be honest with you, I don't remember what they were, but yeah, that's hundred bucks. Yeah, I got a couple duplicates, like this green one right here. This guy, yeah. they sent it to me twice, so I got, and then I have another one back here. I can't wait to start doing this. It's gonna take me a while. When did you think? When, when, how do you? When do you feel your tank like stable out enough to stuff it with sticks? I had troubles until one year and then once about one year mark hit, everything kind of stabled out and really started just, you know, kind of went on autopilot, just kind of water changed once in a while, clean the glass. But um, the first year was definitely a battle. And that's why a lot of people, they get frustrated and they break their tanks down and they just quit because I mean, this tank here was covered in, brownish green hair algae i had dinos i had cyano i mean you name it it had it so that's why you weren't on youtube for the first year 
Yeah, I mean, there's just to me, there's nothing to film. I I don't want to film. I mean, I guess I could have shared that information, but I don't know. I just I like to just share my tank when it's looking yeah. good. I know, it's like somebody said earlier, like Mike shows the tank, and it's nothing's changed since two weeks ago when I added water. Still looking at an empty tank. I did actually show some nitrites today. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Whatever the second step on the a uh, API kit is, I don't even know. But yeah, I mean, I had the I had a shrimp in there for a little while. I took it out a couple of days ago. Just to, I was thinking maybe it was too much of a continuous source of ammonia for the bacteria to consume it. So I, I took it out. Maybe it'll like you know start turning it into nitrate, nitrate, and it, it is actually. Right on. Darius Reaper says, wow, nice tank. Thanks, I, man. Yeah, I'd like to wake up every day and check my tank out if it looked like that. It's cool. Yeah, it, it took a while. It's it, Like I said, next month it's going to be two years old. But the first, the, I'll tell you, the first eight months for sure were just nothing but problem after one, after another, after another. That was just kept days, at it, you know. That was days of rotter tube streams. <laughs> that was a while back. It was, yeah. Um, you, ever, you ever have any problem feeding the ant? No, I when I had these guys in the quarantine tank, they weren't eating too, and I just kept feeding them uh, all kinds of just a variety of stuff, and now they'll eat anything I put in here. Flakes, pellets, frozen, whatever. They eat it all. <clears throat> That's cool. I lost, uh, I had two of them. And when I, when I moved my 75 the first time, I lost them then. But they were cool. I think that it's just, they don't like go crazy swimming around. They kind of just like group together and just like swim in the current. But it was just like a nice little pink and yellow touch to the tank. Yeah, I like them. They're cool. Most of the other fish I have besides the clowns are kind of working fish. I have lots of wrasses, a couple different tangs. Got, uh, I think I have, last I counted, I have it written down, but I think I have 23 fish in here. Yeah, you would never know. Here, I'll throw some food in there and we'll see if more can, more come out. You just happen to have defrosted, frozen. Like, okay. It's time. I was I was actually making it, so it was time. Sure. Yeah, it went distorted for me. See a bunch oh, of movement. Yeah. Looks good though, man. You did a good job. And you said basically since the casting reactor, you're just like cleaning the glass for two or three days. and That's it, dude. Nothing. <laughs> it just, it's on autopilot, man. I, I keep checking just because I'm still new to using the calcium reactor. So, you know, I keep getting paranoid like I'm going to see a huge spike or, a, you know, a drop off. And every time I test that the alkalinity is at 8.4, it just stays there. There. Yeah, you do have a few fish in there. Huh? It just like cleared up for me. But there yeah, are quite a few big fish. So I mean, you got the purple tang, but he's not massive, right? He's what, like a four, four, five inch, four inch. Yeah, oh. about yeah, four or five. I got him kind of small. Everything mm -hmm. in there was pretty small when I got Melanaris. Is he's getting kind of big now? Yeah, he's getting long. You got a bunch of wrasses in there, huh? Yeah, I got the um. Yellow chorus, the chorus. Where else are these guys? Uh, a leper, blue star leper, and then I got the regular leopard right here. I like those leopards. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They went through hell too because when I first set this tank up, when I was stocking the fish, I wound up with 
with Marine. And even that was even after quarantining, I still wound up Marine Velvet. And so I wound up losing probably half my fish and I wound up saving 11. And a lot of these are still the red birds were. Yeah, I was I pissed. My left. Dave stream for eight hours. Like you never see him get up because I'm, I'm I gotta pee. Yeah, I do too. So I'll be right back. All right. Intermission, guys. Be right back. All right, we're back. I'm back anyway. Yeah, I'm here too. I was just looking at the chat. I haven't. When you're on the phone on Hangouts, you can you can't really see it. So I came over to my computer to say what's up to everyone. So I, I saw that Mass Aquariums. I'm like just looking at my phone real quick. I saw that Mass Aquariums is uh, streaming, but it's all like beta talk. I mean, betas are cool, but I don't really want to talk about betas to be honest with you. Yeah, I hear you. No, I don't I don't go to, he talks about he does have a reef tank, but um he talks about his fresh yeah, stuff quite a bit. Which is cool. Yeah. I mean that's what he does, you know. I like Mike. Has, he's only like I don't know, he's like thirty five minutes away from me. So he's yeah. like he's really not far at all. And let's see, I was just kind of looking at the chat. Joey asked me if I use the carbon doser, and yes, I do. Um, I'm trying to see if there was any other. Tom, Bubblegum's doing the same. Yeah, this chat, chat's been kind of stagnant for a little while. Okay, uh, gotcha. Reaperman202 asked, what's the intensity on the lights? Um, right now, I have them at uh, 48%. I run 20K on the ramp up, 14K across the peak of the day, then it drops down to 20K for the rest of the day. It's the same schedule that uh, Worldwide Corals uses. It's like a modified AB plus. And I've had it set that way from, the, from day one. I haven't really changed it. And I just, I use the power meter. I have the one that plugs into your laptop. Which is what? And it, it's set. Uh, 
It's the Apogee, um, I think SQ420, and it just has a USB plug on the end, and you just plug it into a laptop to see the, the readout. Do you like and it? I, it's okay. I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's not as good as the, the newer one that's made for LEDs. But, you know, I figure it gets you in the, bar, the ballpark between, you know, 10 and 20%. So it works. I mean, I set the top, the top of my scape, I'm about 350 to 380. The okay. middle is probably 215 to 250 par across the middle. And then 110 to 140, 150 on the sand bed, depending on where you are. And I've just been running it like that. I haven't touched them. I haven't, you know, changed anything. Yeah, because it was funny because, you know, I, I left YouTube for like a year and then I came back and Billy was telling me like lights change completely. It's no more as much far as you can give it. Um, like BRS came out with 250 across the board. I don't know yet. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. I'm going to I'm probably going to because I have the I brought the bought the prime. So I'll probably just r run one of their already created whatever they are yeah if you look on if you look online the eight the primes have uh schedules posted that mimic the ab plus that one's just been tested you know it's working for uh, like the big manufacturers it works for old white corals it works for quite a few people so i think the biggest thing is no matter what you pick just don't constantly change it i always see people and they see a, one coral not looking too good. They'll either crank their lights up or turn them down, and they just keep doing it constantly. So just it's better just to leave it, I think. Yeah. I'm so itching to put these fish in this tank, dude. Yeah. And I should have just done like everybody else does and drop some drop some bacteria and throw a fish in and do, it, do its thing. But I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it right this time and – Drop some of that in. I put a shrimp in, but I'm still showing 0 0.50 for ammonia. Yeah, well, you know, you could still, what you could do is you could still add some bottled bacteria to, to boost it up. Oh, it's just give it a. Thanks, cloudy from the side anyway, because the bacterial bloom. Yeah, but still, even add more, and then that'll help eat up that ammonia. That's what I did. I used. Um, I use, instead of letting a, a shrimp rot, I just use bottled ammonia, pure right. ammonia. Yeah, I have it, actually. Actually, I do have that. I have Dr. Tim's, whatever it is, ammonium chloride or whatever. Yeah. It took, um, I think my cycle was 14 days without any fish, just ammonia and bacteria. So you and think that's bacteria right now? It, I mean, it's up to you if you want to boost it up and go faster, but... I mean, to be honest, the longer you let it go, the better. Things are just going to get, oh. you know, a better biofilm on your rock and just getting the itch, you know? Yeah. If you go fast, it's, you know, that's, I went fast and I kind of got burned for it in the beginning. You know, I didn't, I didn't leave my lights off during the cycle. I was like, you know what? It's going to come sooner or later. I just hit it from day one. I set my lights up and let them go. Now, if I was to do it again, I wouldn't do that. I'd leave them off. Yeah, I don't have my my lights are still in the box. Yeah, but I, today is the first is when I did it, so we're at fifteen days. So you remember when all of us were setting up our tanks? Myself, CJ, yep. Ed. There was a couple of you know different people that were on Ed. the live streams, and Thanks. they all you know all of us wound up getting a bunch of different algaes and had some problems and stuff. Well, if you look at like when Rico set this last tank up of his, he dumped all the different manufacturers uh -huh. bacteria in there uh -huh. and his rock. I mean, he's got a little bit of fuzz, but it's nothing like, like we had. So this could time, be, this time for me, I bleached my rocks because some of the uh -huh. stuff I was using was old rock from my, from my previous 75. So I bleached it for like six or seven days. It kind of froze up because it was out in the shed. Um, but I bleached it and then I ended up letting it dry out completely. Then I put it in RO for a day with, with, uh, 
uh, dechlorinator and then I let it dry out again and then I filled it up with RO which is a total waste of like it was like 15 gallons of RO I just wasted I filled it up and then like let it sit for a day or two and then I tested it and there was no chlorine um, but so b between the bleach I added a 60 gallon dose of the Dr. Tim's one and only and then I added like the big bottle over time I added wh whatever the direction said uh, but then the directions also said to add like a cap full per day for however long. Uh, I did that too. So that was stability, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I've never used it. I've heard of it, seen it before, but yeah, I used, um, I used dry Pucani. This is what I had left over. And, uh, I did a muratic acid bath on it. And I also did a bleach bath on it, but I still wound up with tons and tons of algae when I started. The thing about this rock is if you, if I was to take a hammer and break this open, there's a ton of crud, even after the acid and the bleach, there's so much like just dead material inside this rock. Does that mean you didn't bleach it for long enough? I did, but it just doesn't, it doesn't com completely break down everything because this rock is so, you know, it's so porous and it's got so many. All right. Well, you got a 400 coming. You should probably throw that rock in a, in a bucket of hot salt water right now. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. I actually thought about um, breaking this up because they're pretty big pieces, but yeah. I thought about breaking them up and then, re and doing what you're saying and then redoing the aquascape in my 58 gallon. Cause oh, it's, that's going to be a pain, huh? But I need to do something with that tank. It's Why? the rock in it. Well, because it, it's a real battle to um, – it's just a battle to maintain that tank because it's been running for 25 years with a deep sand bed and the same rock. It's rock from the ocean, Fiji. And it just – it's so clogged up, and I just – you know, I'm constantly having to fight that tank. It still looks good. I'll show it to you. Oh, so now what? Well, the only really solution, I think, is to break it down and kind of start it up again. But well, You'd have to sell off some shit because there's a lot in there. Yeah, this is the... Like, what are you going to do with that whole back wall right there? <laughs> I'll scrape it off. Yeah, what else? There's nothing you can do. I know. That's what you I said? Got... 68 is what she said? Y yeah. I know the tank police are going to get me, but there's a story behind my tangs. This um, fish here, I've had it for 25 years. Yeah, I know. You said that the other night. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Same yeah. with this corals, this mushrooms, this, this piece. Forever. Yeah. Okay. I've had that guy. Well, that's not in your main display. Huh? I don't know why that big green thing right there is not in your main display. Not the leather. I don't have any leathers. No, I'm saying uh, whatever that anemone, carpet anemone, not that, but that lobo or brain or whatever that thing is right there. Why, yeah. is, that, why is that not the big display? Um, just because it's been with me for so long and it's just kind of part of this tank. That's Everything's kind of, I mean, I, I don't have many fish in here, but these, these guys I rescued when they were babies. And they, um, they were on their death. They were on their deathbed, and I've had them for like ten years. I, I hate that they're in a tank so small, but um, I don't know. There's a lot of people that can't say they've had fish for ten years. You know, I'm hearing some sirens. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't care. Uh, way I look at yeah, it, way I look at it is anytime you take a fish out of the ocean. That's where they belong, right? So if you're going to say that about tangs, you're going to have to say it about all all fish. But I do wish they were in a bigger tank. Well, you got a 400 coming. You're good. Uh, Reefing with O, what's up, dude? DSR, please be aware of those who are not familiar with this type of cleaning. It can be very dangerous. Please do your research if you choose the process. I think he's talking about like the uh, bleach or acid. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Um, AL said, don't do it, Phil. Been going for 25 years. I know that's the other thing, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know. There's a 
part of running and running nonstop that makes me not want to break it down. But I mean, I have, I have hydro, you won't be able to see them. Maybe you can see them right down here. I have colonial hydroids real bad. And then, uh, I don't even, it's I got, never even heard of that before, to be honest with you. Colonial. Oh, yeah. They're colonial hydroids. Yeah, they're no fun. And then um, I have flatworms in here. Not acroidium, but just the red, the red planaria. They don't eat coral or nothing, but they're just ugly. And it's got everything, vermitted snails. and But it's still, you know, I don't know. It's cool that it's been up that long. So that, like, like, so that trachea and, like, the fish, how many tanks have they been through? This is it. They've been in this one the entire time. One single tank for 25 years. Yeah, this has never been. The only That's time I broke it down, and I didn't even break it down all, all the way as I moved about uh, 20 miles away, and I just drained the water, put everything in brutes, brought it home, set it right back up. So that was the only time it's been like, well, semi broken down in 25 years. Damn, dude, that's insane. Talk about patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get a little nervous because I don't know if you can see the sides here, but the, the silicone is pretty much all gone off the edge here. Oh, definitely, yeah. And I do once in a while, I get a little tiny bit Drip. of salt creep on the outside right here. Yep. But it is, you know, it's rimmed. So I don't know. I mean, 25 years is a long time on a, you know, Very tank. Long. But yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I knew this was an old tank, but I didn't know that was the tank from 25 years ago. Yeah, dude, same one. Same. You know, it's changed. Like I like I did kind of – I got tired of listening to the Durso drain. So I just did the over the top return and then did a Herbie inside the, you know, chamber here. That's what I did with mine. I still have, a, and, though, I still have like a, you know, a couple times in a pee and I had metal halides and power compacts. And then I went to a T5 and then now I'm running this Kessel. That Kessel is cool though. It doesn't grow coral too well. I mean, as far as SPS, like these guys have been in here for, for ages and they just don't, they just get fat. They don't like grow upwards. Yeah. I don't know why, but this guy's does all right. But You frag that often? Dude, I have, I have colonies of this guy. <laughs> I've so, I've traded so many different big colonies to my LFS and I got a full of crazy. I have in my frag tank right now, I have two colonies this side and probably 10, 10, uh, four or five inch frags of this. If anyone's near central coast of California, just come by and I'll give you a piece. All right. I'll be over in a little bit. All right. Still sunny out. Yeah. Three years, three, oh, yeah. Three hours behind. That's right. It's a nice little backyard you got, though, huh? Yeah, it's a little small house, but... What do you do for work? I'm retired. Is that a lemon tree right there? Yeah, lemons. Mike That's... Lemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. Oh, how that happen? How's that work? I work for the state, and you can retire when you're 50. Done. So... I knew. Yeah, you got benefits and medical and all that stuff, so it worked out. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. I am not retired, but I'm ready for it. Yeah, I left. I left probably two two years earlier than I was supposed to. Though I got hurt at work, and so that's why my neck's all jacked up. And I wound up just doing a medical retirement. So, I left a couple years early. Awoken says, retired and reefing. What a life. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Bored, though? Bad. Bored? No, not at all. My dad retired, and I feel like he doesn't want to admit it, but I think he's bored. Yeah, no, I'm not bored. There's always something to do. 
I uh, ain't that the truth. You know, I do little side jobs and stuff. I, I do I work on computers and electronics and stuff like that. So I make a few yeah. bucks here and there and little PS to his statement. So retired in reefing, what a life. In California was his little add on. California. I've never been. It just looks cool. Obviously, yeah, you can't beat it, man. Where it depends where you are. Yeah, I'm right on this coast, the central coast, and it stays, you know, it stays pretty mellow here year round. It doesn't get too hot. Well, yeah. maybe one or two days where it gets in like a hundred, but normally it's, it's heat though, right? Not like not, where I'm from. Oh yeah, no, it's not humid at all. It's super dry. But yeah, we have that, and then it doesn't get too cold either. So it's pretty much our temperature stays between, you know, in the 60s and 80s. It's not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a tough life. <laughs> Unless you worked for it. Good for you, man. That's really cool. Meanwhile, I'm over here working six, sometimes seven days a week. Today was my day off. I worked for five hours. Um. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm ready for retirement, dude. Sign me up. <laughs> I hear you, man. I did, the, I did the military for 10 years, and I got out, and I couldn't really find work. So then I went to the work for the state. It's pretty much the same type of deal. You know, you can retire early. You're on a fixed income. And so, you know, it's you're not rich or anything, but it's enough to pay the bills and yeah. works out okay. You have enough to afford a pretty baller reef tank. Well, I backyard I, with lemon tree. I sold my um. I when I had this fifty eight, I was always wanting to upgrade, and so I went on BRS and I put all the stuff that I wanted in my cart, and I saw the price tag, and I was like, "Oh hell no!" And then, uh, so because I got hurt, I wound up uh, selling my motorcycle and a boat that I had in order to be able to afford this tank. That's why I afford recycle on a boat to get that tank. I did. Wow. Yeah. That I had a Malibu, I had a Malibu ski boat, an older one, but. And I, heard, and I just, it was looking right anymore because of my neck. And um, so I wound up selling those and I just took the cash from that and bought the new tank. I'll close this door. <clears throat> It's been like pretty dry lately, and I just got a notification on my phone. Uh, special weather statement. I got it one minute ago, and it's pouring outside right now. Oh, really? Down some of this snow. We get still got some, some snow on the ground, piles of it. So I'm hoping it'll knock it down. But it was. Can you hear that? Yeah. What was it? That was thunder. Oh, sounded like you drug a chair across the floor. Nope. It's still, I can still hear it. It's faint, but it's still going. Still hear it. The thunder is still going. It's just like a... Like, still going. It's crazy. Because <laughs> oh, thunder is the residual from a lightning bolt. Oh, there's another lightning bolt. Just seen it. That's crazy. About to get loud again. But it's been dry for like a while and then just boom out of nowhere. Or yeah. I guess I won't be going out anytime soon. Or will I? I saw you smoking that vape. Yeah. You understand. So you can't complain. You get it. Oh, no. I used to smoke too back in the day. Yeah, two? I smoked a lot. Yeah, about two packs a day. Marlboro yeah. Reds. Yeah, I smoked a ton. The cowboy man. killers over there, huh? The what? Cowboy killers. Yeah. Yeah, I smoked a long time, man. Well, in the military, you know, that's kind of where I pretty much started. I mean, I started in high school, but in the military, you know, when I – you didn't get breaks unless everyone started smoking. So everybody started smoking just to take breaks? Yeah. That's funny. Uh, yeah. 
I was way back, you know, and you could smoke in the airplanes and restaurants and all that stuff. Yeah. You go into restaurants smoking your non? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I never, I'm not old enough to see smoking on a plane, but my ex is old enough for that. He remembers it. Yeah, it was kind of funny because, you know, you get the smoking and the non-smoking section, but it's only like one seat away. <laughs> so, yeah, right. so like, everyone back there puffing away, you know, and then the seat right in front of them, you might as well yeah, be in the like a section. separating you. And I flew to um, Germany one time when I was in the Air Force, and we went over there on a commercial plane, and you could smoke. And <laughs> that whole cabin, man, was just filled. It was like a wall of smoke in there. Crazy. That's, that is crazy. Like ashtrays on each individual seat. <laughs> yeah, the little chair arms, yep. Yeah, dude. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Listen, Mike, I gotta, I gotta run, man. I gotta take yeah. off. All right. Well, I may, may have to. Uh, what time is it? Eh, it's only been a little bit. Um, all right, buddy. Well, I appreciate you coming. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, Phil. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I was I hadn't been in a while, so I wanted to pop in and see how you're making out with that calcium reactor, and just say what you know, what's yeah, up. So been no pro, no, 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 um, nothing since we set it up. Right on. All right, Mike. Have a good night. All right, dude. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Thanks. All right. Take it easy, everyone in the chat. We'll see you guys. All right. So. Let's call Billy. What are you doing? Okay, fold laundry and talk to me about fish tanks. Yep, calling you. Uh, it was me and Phil. He just left. He's got some stuff to do. So here I am. Need somebody to talk to, man. <laughs> uh, briefly in the start, but. I'm live with my face on it right now. Yeah, well, like Billy Pipes, I'm doing something. I have nothing to show. Got a fish tank that's empty. All right, well, so why don't you just click the link and come hang out for a little bit. You said give me a minute 40 minutes ago. <laughs> all right you've been busy i hear you all right well see you in a little bit bye as crazy as the storm's going on right now it doesn't stop me from wanting to go outside call your lifeline yeah because Billy asked me when I was about to stream if I'm jo if, uh, if I'm streaming. I said, yep, why don't you join? He said, okay, let me do a couple things. Hour and 20 minutes ago, and I text him halfway through. He's like, all right, give me a minute. It's been a couple minutes, sir. I may want to go outside, though. So the stream's gonna be like this though. How many people are gonna watch them? Watch them? Comments need to be a little more live than they are, guys. I always forget to read the comments when somebody's in, but 19 watching. I have zero commenters. Should buy something. <clears throat> Actually, Billy's like, yo, did you tell everybody what you won? So if you guys weren't in it earlier, I don't know what all I'm getting, to be honest with you. Uh, but we will find out. So I got an email this morning. 
and you know free tabs or free prizes tab right here i always click it and i'm always looking at brs and i got an email today i won something where is it what's going on here i think I think there is also the salinity in the thing that they're sending me. I'm not sure, but I, I'm, I definitely at least won this. So that's tight. 235 bucks. Take that. I just bought a alkalinity a month or so ago, two months ago. So I may get rid of that or give it away to you. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, but I don't have the URL. ULR. Or the calcium, which I probably never use. Maybe I'll give that away or sell it. I don't know. Yeah, jeeping, not bad, huh? I just won that crusher of a giveaway on uh, Marine Depot. So this is a nice little follow-up win. And I'm in the running for another win, too. We'll see. Billy Pipes' is meetup. We'll see. Yeah, Sherry, not bad, right? So, I am thinking about buying something. I don't know where it would be. Do we just buy something? Oh, some Kira pumps. Cool. Ken Moore? Nope, that's not what I meant. What is it? O A R A R O? What is it? Kamor? Kamor pump? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, jeeping. Yeah, that was definitely a score. So, does anybody know? Does this have to be soft tubing plugged right here? Kamower is Kamower. All right, Kamora. Does it? Does it have to be a soft tubing like this in here, or can you connect like an RO tubing, or maybe even like airline? I guess I don't. I don't know. Do I just buy it? Two fifty nine. Best solution for calcium reactors. That's a strong statement. Look at that. Hot ashes. Uh, see, the reason I don't like buy this right now is because I like I'm looking at like this. And there's a couple of these things open. Yeah, like look, something like this, 150, variable speed, continuous duty, like it's definitely bigger, but if it's like medical grade and I and it's medical grade, I mean, geez, and it's cheaper, 
They get some. They got some stupid ones on here though. Like look, continuous peristaltic pump, ninety five bucks. They even have some cheap ones on Amazon, I think. Two fifty nine was it? Same price, but they're both free shipping, so it doesn't matter. Probably give the business to BRS. Oh, where we go? Look at that. It's probably better than a Kimura. Got a couple things in my cart. I've my <clears throat> my aura overflowed, or overflowed, overflowed yesterday. I don't think I need the other stuff right now. How do I delete these? Got to go back to my cart. All right. I don't know. Sorry for not talking. Just thinking. YOLO. If I'm just spending 276, I'm going to wait, actually. And the reason is, is that I think I can save myself some money. If I wait a minute, because I can get a deal through BRS. So, psych. I didn't buy it. I will, though. I, th I think I will. I think Devin kind of talked me into it. But if I can get like 20, 25% off, why wouldn't I? I think I'm going to do it. But like I said, I don't know about these other ones. Like, what about the $150 medical one on eBay? What's up, Carlos? I don't know. I wonder if anybody's used that. So let me do this. Let's go back to this. Uh, 
where what right there watering pump. Uh, Awoken says, if anything else, they'll probably have a 10% St. Patty's Day sale. I um, um, think I can get better than 10%. And best believe, I'm going to get whatever they're giving away. Whatever it is. I think they're doing like... Um, like giving away, but like spend two fifty, get yourself a koozie. Best believe I'm gonna give me that koozie or a bucket or something, whatever it is. Now you can't go wrong with Kamora and, and Carbon Doser said. I don't think I'm gonna go with the Carbon Doser. I think it's a waste of money. I think reliability might be reliability might be better, but I don't think you need a, a, a precise, super precise bubble rate. I think that's just people making a lot of money for digitizing it. All right. <sighs> Salt cup. Yes. Cheaping. Yeah, that's what I saw today. When you sign up, when you sign up for the weekly thing, get yourself a nice salt cup. If you spend two fifty. Cool. Better get my cup if I buy Kimura. I have so much BRS swag. I have nothing. St. Patrick's Day is my birthday. Getting old. Happy birthday, Sherry. I, I missed that. I can't begin to guess how old you are. No idea. It could be 88. It could be 28. No idea. I don't think Sherry posts. Yeah, I don't think you've talked on any of your videos, Sherry. All right. 55. You can move into one of those communities now where they mow your lawn for you, shovel snow for you if need be. Taxes and fees are probably pretty high, but you ain't got to do shit now. All right, we might have to do another intermission. I'm sorry. Be right back.
All right, here I am. It's raining out. I'm just catching up. Somebody's talking about, they said retirement home. I think the better way to put it is, a, is an assisted living facility. I think that's more politically correct. Put them in a the home. Just get her in there. Mermaid, happy birthday. Sherry, you as well. I think I said that a couple times. Nano Man is back in the house. Can't believe there's still 17 of you watching. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Would somebody come in here and talk to me? so hard to stream alone like it's like talking to yourself the whole time i don't know it's tough Only if I can have a reef tank, Mike. That could probably be arranged. I'd live in a home. I could play bingo. You could do some crafts and stuff. You could take field trips to like the grocery store. Like, run it. Somebody washes my butt. Sign me up. <laughs> Sorry. These highlights just go down like water when I live stream. I don't know. Can't get comfortable either. What's next to your build? I'd go watch in there and show you right now, but my buddy's puzzling. He bought a big Star Wars puzzle and was putting it together. It's one of those things that are just weird. You go out there and here I am, maybe with my gimbal. I got a buddy behind me puzzling. Next for my build is to wait for this cycle to be over. I'm ready to get everything out of that. Not everything, but the fish and probably a few corals out of the 28 and put it in. Let me get some movement. I need something to move in my tank. Watching the rockscape. That's all I got. But I do have some nitrites as of this morning. And I need to get this calcium reactor up and running. If you guys aren't aware, I use the residual light from my TV. So every time it goes dark, just gotta hit the analog. So it turns back on. Use my overhead light. It's like yellow. You can't see nothing. It's gonna be cool when you can buy a coral and not worry about it. I haven't had that feeling in a while. Every coral I put in my tank, I get a little worried. That thing sucks. My little 28 just... <sighs> Small tanks is tough, unless you have like time to do it. I just saw the start to this. Let me read this. There are 55, uh, 55 and over community by my aunts in South Carolina. They drive to the stores right outside the entrance, and it's crazy. The parking lots are full of golf, golf carts. 
Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm from Florida and just north, of, not just north, but more towards like Paul Blaney, Leesburg area, I think. It's up that way, Ocala. It's uh, the villages. It's massive. They just started out with like a golf retirement community and then they just built and built and built and now they have their own area code. <laughs> yeah, it's so big. Everybody just owns their car, which they rarely use. There's stores, there's restaurants, there's golf courses in their just community. Sherry, hello. Hey, Mike. How are you, Sherry? Happy birthday. Thank you. You're yeah. putting in a retirement home. I said, you heard me. You're going to wipe my butt, feed me. No way, no way. Sign me up. <laughs> No, I'm not going into a retirement home. I am turning 55, though. But I don't look 55, and I don't sound 55. Yeah, work it. <laughs> I just, I, I'm like, oh, that's it. I'm going in. 55 is not old. It's crazy what your, what your, your outlook on old is. The older you get, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I still feel like my parents aren't old, and I, my dad turns 69 this year. He'll be 70 next year, 1950. I don't think he's old. No. My parents are 78. Yeah. Do you, you don't see them as old. Well. When they start hunching and they start slowing down, then you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they mentioned St. Patrick's Day. And I'm like, oh, that's my birthday. Yep, my uh, my daughter had a little St. Patty's Day party at school today. That's cool. They all, uh, everybody in school. She was a pri private school, so it's like, um, it's more than just like a whole school doing it. You know, it's 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 cool because the all, all the all the classes uh, interact, so it's a good time. Oh, uh, how old is she? Five. I almost have a six-year-old in June, though. It's crazy. Oh. My so, old, my oldest is thirty. Oh, I don't even know. Thirty-two, thirty-one, or thirty-two. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I have four kids, so my uh, youngest, my youngest is nineteen, and my oldest is thirty-two. A lot of kids. I don't know how you did it. My I, hands are yeah. full. One tied, full. I, I, I've won. Three daughters and one son. Oh, good Lord. Your husband must be miserable. <laughs> no, he's he's happy. He's got three girls that he's wrapped around all three of their fingers, and he's got to li listen to you, too. <laughs> no. He's... he's uh, God bless your husband. Yeah. He, I wonder if he heard that. I'm going to tell him you said that. Yeah, you should. So your fish tank looks good. Those are AI Primes above it. How do you like them? Those are Zetlight UFOs. Well, they are. They're bigger. Yes, they are. Do you like yeah. those? I look at those. I do like them. Um, the settings on them can be difficult. The what settings are very that? difficult. What do you mean by that? Well... You can't really pro their their Wi-Fi, but when you program them, they only have five settings. So you can't like do hour by hour. So you have to kind of um, blend the colors and do the timing a little differently. I think like other lights would be easier to program. Sure. So they, you know, I have it. I have it uh, dialed in, but uh, it was hard. It really was. Michigan, like Ohio or something. Pardon me. You are you from like Michigan or Ohio or something? Ah, Chicago. Chicago. I hear you. <laughs> uh, a lot of people like I don't hear an accent at all, but I guess yeah, you can. Absolutely. I definitely have a Chicago accent. I have a bunch of family in in like Ohio and a little bit of Michigan, but it's, it's more of like an exaggerated, you know. Uh huh. Chicago. Are you, uh, are you a Sox or a Cubs fan? Cubs, Cubs, North Side. So you must be from Schaumburg. No, I, I'm not from Schaumburg. 
I do live in a suburb of Chicago. I don't live in the city. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I live more towards the Wisconsin state line, but I grew up in closer to Chicago. Yeah. I guess I do have a little Chicago accent, but um, uh, no. Chicago. That's what they say, Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. So yeah, the tank's doing great. It's eight months old. Um, is that a 125? What is that? It's a 125. Yeah, that's cool. I, yeah. I wish I had a tank. How do you like the corner overflow? You have two of them, actually, so you can't. The corner it. over, um, I like it. No problems. You know. So you have one drain and one return on each side? Um, yeah, I do. Huh. And there's a slip underneath. I don't hear it. Anymore. Oh, noise wise? No, it's very quiet. I, have, I get a gurgle with mine. Oh, no. No, I don't have any. I mean, like if the tank is off, like if, then you notice that it's off, but it, it's not very loud at all. And it's in the living room. Oh, well, eight months old, too. That's cool. Yeah. We could fall off the tripod and get closer. Yeah, so no, I like it. You know, I'm filling it up with coral. You know, I have all the fish I want. Just uh, stacking it up with coral. It's doing pretty good. I like Phil's tank a lot. Me too. I like Phil in general. Oh, yeah, he's a nice guy. <clears throat> I've always been friends with Phil for a while. I like, I've always liked him. Yeah. I've been on YouTube for a little while. I haven't even thought about it. I took a long break. Uh, probably, probably took a year long break on YouTube, I guess. Yeah. Well, I post videos once in a while. You don't have many of them. Ah. Uh, but you, but you, do have, music. you do a lot of music, right? I have a lot of what? You put like music or something. You don't talk. Oh, no, it. there's, there, no, no, no. There's uh there's a few on there that where I'm talking. Yeah, I have been YouTubing for a while. Jeez. Yeah. I should have more subscribers. <laughs> yeah. I try to make them short. But, My first uh, video, January 9th, twenty sixteen. I don't even know. But uh you know, I'll post something if I have something to share. If it's interesting. I look for things to share. Yeah. If like, it's interesting. Uh, like I'm <laughs> unbox my bulk resupply winnings. How cool is that? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I just won that uh Marine Depot one and here I go. Winning, yeah, uh, congratulations. You win a lot of stuff. <laughs> never before until recently, seriously. Never did I win stuff. Well and that's cool. Getting just well, Randomly lucky, between yeah, between both kind of, both giveaways, it's probably like fifteen hundred bucks retail. That's cool. Yeah, real cool. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> that's 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 what really helped me. That's why I have a calcium reactor and three AI primes, uh, the Hannah checker, a small ball valve, and my actual tank actually was from my Marine Depot win. Imagine that. <laughs> I like, oh, I like Marine Depot, actually. Yeah, they gave me that Prophylux controller and doser, and I sold it for eleven fifty. I kind of felt bad because, I don't know, I feel like they expect somebody to use it, but I don't need it. I have an Apex. Uh-huh. Well, that's but, cool that you won, though. Uh, Hannah Checker is my next purchase. Which one? The Alkalinity. For Elk. What? I'm about to have two of them. I'm using the Celefert right now, and I, you know, I'm just sick of it. All right, well. So I'm just going to get the Hannah checker for the um, alkalinity. All right, we'll talk. Like I said, I'll have, an, I'll have another one here shortly. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another. So, I you know. know I'm it off. Yeah. And then, you know, I keep buying, like, you buy a, a Celifer kit, it's like 20 bucks. I ordered another one. It was like, 
from home from um, Marine Depot, and it came to like twenty two dollars or something like that. And I'm like, I might as well just go ahead and buy the Hannah checker for fifty bucks and you know get an accurate reading. I don't have much experience with with, with Hannahs. I don't have any, but I'm going to get one. It's not hard either. Yeah. It's just, you know, you can run 25 tests with, which in my case, I'm, what I'm thinking is that I got to buy, actually, I'm getting an agent for that to make it easier. Um, it's like, I'm probably going to be testing like every like couple of days, if not every day. Yeah. Try to die, reactor. I kind of have a dial. I ha I have the tank kind of dialed in, and the only time I test is if I see one of the corals are like you know not doing it. Like one of the corals will be off, and I'll be like I'll do a test, and then sure enough, my elk is just too low. You know they like to be at eight. Are you doing anything to 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 raise it? Um, I'm using eight for the aqua vitro. By Seacam. Yep. Yeah, I use uh, that's what I dose my elk with, and then the calcium also. Are you do you have a dosing uh, pump? Or are you? No, a I'm doing it by hand. Just dropping it in. Huh? Yeah, just um, kind of have it dialed in w with what it needs, you know. And I look at the corals. The corals will tell me everything I need to know. Yeah, for sure. You know, if they look happy, I'm not too worried about it, but. You know, sometimes it will drop too low, and you know I'll have to mess with it. Uh, but, it says, "How's my tank coming?" It is coming a lot slower than I thought it would. So I used what well, we talked about earlier, but I, I used two different bacteria, and I dropped a shrimp in, and I just now read nitrites today, and it's been fifteen days. That's last time I just added bacteria and added a fish and it was off to the races. So I don't know why this time I had more bacteria but it's lower to transition the ammonia. So I don't know. You just added whatever. more bacteria? I added more than last time. Yeah, I had like a big. If you look from the side, it's cloudy. It's like bacterial bloom. But from the front, it doesn't look cloudy. But it's only that long distance from the side well when you add the bacteria see now i'm no expert but when you add the bacteria it has to have enough to eat you know what yeah. i mean so you say you added more yeah but i added a raw shrimp as well yeah but is that enough for uh -huh. if you're adding more to keep my ammonia it's been at 0.5 for like a week now and I even took the took the shrimp out. I was thinking maybe it was too much of an ammonia source. But yeah. today I registered a little bit of nitrites. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but still, it's been 15 days. Like I would, How many days? 15? So I'm not completely impatient, but I feel like with the amount of ammonia, the amount of bacteria that I had, it should be gone already. Well, if it's only been 15 days, you probably just need another 15 days. No. It takes it's like four weeks. I'm going to be itching the whole time. Yeah. No, I hear you. All right, Mike. Well, I just wanted to tell you I didn't need to go in a home. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll take your spot. <laughs> I don't need a retirement home yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. Not a problem. Thanks for hanging out. No problem. I'll be in chats. All right. Well, I'll be here. All right. Thanks, Mike. Sure. Happy birthday. All right. Oh, thank you very much. Bye. Later. Those uh, those lights she had look pretty beast, huh? I am going to go out and see if he's still out there doing puzzles. Because if he's not, I'll jump on my phone, talk about my tank, see what you guys have to say. Maybe I can... I don't know. I, don't think I can see what you say, actually. But I'll be right back. Let me go check.
I'm sorry, guys. I have a horrible addiction to tobacco, so I got to go out every like, especially since I'm drinking beers. I got to go out from time to time. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with for a little while. I want to go out there and show you, but he's like out there doing puzzles. It could, but I don't know. Jesus. It's crazy. I have nothing to talk about. Somebody come in here and talk to me. Let me just end it here in a little bit. It's crazy, though. Still 17 you watching, and I got nobody to talk to right down there. Click clack, what up, man? There you go. Somebody said something. Uh, I don't know how much how long how much longer I'm gonna stream, clack. It's getting stale. We had another calcium reactor talk earlier, click clack. Is yours running? I think it's close. We need beer. You're right. So when you said we, I don't know if you got to run to the store, but I sure don't. Where these beers go down like water when I'm streaming, it's crazy. I can put a few back, but when I'm streaming, water. Clack, jump in, jump in this stream, Clack. Let's talk about it. I want to learn everything I can about calcium reactors. Hit that link, click. pH holding at 7.8, calcium 420, 1400 alk, nine. I don't know where to keep my alkalinity. Down like water. What's up, Mike? Let what up, my G? What's good, son? Can't call it, man. I'm out here on the road right now, man. I just had to drive four hours to go pick up my son. Four hours, bro. Yeah, I know it sucks, ball sack. What do you What do you get? What do you get your kid uh, every every other weekend? Nah, my kids actually a grown, grown. So now they come whenever they feel like it. Whenever they don't have any dates, any girlfriends to go visit, so. Yeah. You ain't even that old, though, either, are you? What do you got? Four kids? How old are you? Um, 36. You got four of them things, dude. You've been working. Well, you know, I get it to sit in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Yeah, I had to get them out of the way early, man, with my two youngest ones. I mean, my two oldest ones. I still got two young ones, though. I got a uh seven and a four-year-old, so. God bless you, sir. I know, man. I know. <laughs> Jesus. I got one. I just said this earlier. I got one, and can't do nothing. I'm wrapped. She's oh, like, yeah. I can't wait. She's yeah. going to be 14, 16, 18. Asking me for shit, like I can't say no. 
Yep, you can't. You really can't. Just like oh, my son. Man. My son work, but he still always calls me. Right now, she wants like donuts and like she wants like donuts and Barbie toys. I'm like, all right. Yeah, then I got to have it. be son. like bags and cars and. Yeah, yeah. Now he talking about a car, and like I told him, man, I already got a special habit with habit with this hobby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I think most of us in in a lifetime have some kind of expensive habit. I've had a few of them, still have. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. See, I'm still in the gas remote control cars, fucking video games. Man, yeah. I got too many hobbies. What do you play for video games? Oh, I'm on PlayStation, man. I think I said this on the stream. The only reason I like Xbox is because controller. I think your controller is much more comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah, doing? man. I got the uh, calcium rag, though, up and pumping and jumping, man. It's running pumping running, and jumping. Man. I think I think it's tuned in the way it needs to be tuned in right now. But I think I got a leak in my regulator. Like I say, it's an old regulator. It, I tested it for bubbles and stuff. That was the used one you got, right? Yeah, so I'm just like, forget it. I cut it off today, and I said I'm just going to uh, put a new regulator and some new hoses and redo the whole line thing. So that way I make sure I'm all right, and I won't be going to sleep thinking about not waking up. <laughs> I feel like uh, that's any anything kind of nervous about going to bed. I uh, speaking of that, I overflowed my last night. I streamed and I overflowed my uh, RO. I, I use a bunch of different buckets. And I just rotate when I'm when I come upstairs, I just running downstairs. And like last night, I was just streaming, and totally forgot I had RO going. And I went down there. There's it didn't look like that much, but probably at least like a gallon all over the floor. Oh man, that happens to me bi weekly, <laughs> right, dude. I've done that so many times because I, I I've never had anything to control it. So that's why I had whatever the guardian is. I, think I might get that. He's in there anyway. Yeah. He's mad he didn't fill his thing all the way up, so he's asking him to fill it all the way up. Okay. I'm talking to Mike. So shut your face. <laughs> 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 oh, sir, what's going on over there? So how, that's how we roll, Mike. Hey, talking to Mike. Shut Mike your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Mike. funny. That's Mike. You can see Mike. That's him. Are he you live a, is he a fish person? Yeah, yeah. He, loves him. he was bored, but nobody talking, so I had to jump in and take over you know so how do you like the calcium reactor i'm thinking about getting a kimura nah i don't think i'm gonna be adding nothing like that because i mean that's all extra man it's all extra mike i mean you can set your drip and just set your drip up that's what i did i set my drip and i'm i'm happy with my drip the way it is i don't need that kimura i don't need all that extra fancy stuff i'm good pH controller, calcium reactor, and tune it. I'm okay. What are you feeding it with? Hey, uh, the, my brother Matt Lemon is in the uh, <laughs> comments right now. I mean, I didn't yeah. Yeah, Matt, I'm feeding I'll mine see. through my return. I just ran a manifold. I replumbed my manifold and redid it. Yeah, you can cut across. <laughs> I opened up my brother's YouTube and he's like got one subscriber. I go to click it and it says subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Mark. What's your brother's name, Mike? Matt. Matt. Michael. Yeah, that's us. Your dad is he's almost as old as your old ass. <laughs> That's what's up, Mike. <laughs> See, I don't never normally tell people how old I am. I can't help it. I still got that little young face to me, though. I still get ID'd sometimes. You feel good when you do, though, huh? 
hell yeah, Mike. Of course that makes you feel good. Until your kid come telling you about videotapes are old. VHS is old. We're doing right. something for school for a project. I'm like, dang, am I that old? <laughs> Next they'll be telling me DVDs are obsolete. Done. That's you should have heard that already. <laughs> It's like CDs. CD players aren't even gonna even be cars anymore. So how how, how old are you, Mike? Thirty one. February twenty second. Oh. Thirty one. Oh shit! You ain't no spring chicken yourself, there. I know, bro. He's younger than you. Hey. Uh, sit down for too long. <laughs> Mike is from, I think Mike is from Philly. Aren't you from Philadelphia? No, no. Where you from, Mike? I'm from Florida, but I live in Massachusetts right now. Oh, Massachusetts. From but I don't, I'm not from Massachusetts. Oh, okay, that's where he at. Yeah. I'm from so Sunshine State. Yeah, he from the Sunshine State. <laughs> Say that again. The Sunshine State. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I had a little twist to it right there, too, though. The yeah. Sunshine State. <laughs> I'm finna go on your phone so I can read the comments, see what they talk right, well, about. I, don't, I, I think we're probably going to end the stream here. Yeah. My, my brother, uh, Matt Lemon, over there. Uh, I don't want to Awesome. Yeah, if you want to play, I'll play a couple of games. If anybody in the comments plays Apex on PlayStation, or not PlayStation, Xbox. Is that car legit sitting in the middle of the Lems 788. Add me right now. I'm sure there's a couple of you. There's got to be an Apex player in the comments. 20 of you watching. Heard that, Chef. 20 you watching, there's got to be one Apex Xbox player out there. Boom. I couldn't stream for a while, but it's kind of getting stagnant, you know? Oh, uh, what's up, Hot Ashes? My guy. What's up, Joe Hot Ash? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Way south. Yeah, yeah, he's he he lives in Florida still. He's oh, okay. in Orlando. Yeah, man, I got what about another? I say two hour ride. That's me get to the house. Yeah. Yeah, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe an hour and a half. Where you live at again? I'm uh, I stay in Raleigh right now. My brother lives in South Carolina. Yeah, see, I just moved from South Carolina. I stayed in Rock Hill, down by the Charlotte area. He was in Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah, that was like an hour away from where I used to stay. Yeah, he was like on like Clemson, basically. Hell yeah, they do some good co-op shows there, too. Yeah. Now, there's some... Ooh. I sell cars, dude. I work every Saturday. That's the day. Hey, that's the day for like any cool anything. My brother went to Newberry. 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 Yeah, yeah, Newberry. That's country. Yeah, it was. I only went up there once. But it was pretty country. It was cool, though. I like it. It's like a quiet southern town. I like that. So, Mike, you still ain't got your calcium rack to put together yet? Nope. I got to buy a fitting to feed it. And maybe the Kimura pump. I'm, I'll, I'll um, probably going to order that soon. Mike, you just like to spend money. No, I don't. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, so, so, I always thought it was a crop. I was just going to top top and run it. That's probably what I'm going to do. But the pump's easy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 
I talked to Devin was in here last night. I don't know if you were in Yeah, I, I stopped through and listened for a while. Uh, he was telling me that he runs his effluent line wide open. There's no regulation on the back. Like yeah, the extra control. But what he does is he runs with a Kimura pump. Yeah, it's got to calm down. Yeah. Because he says his Kimura pump, which feeds the reactor, also controls the extra. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so what goes in is what comes out. Story of my life. <laughs> uh, yeah, it ain't that hard, though, Mike, man. We, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just I'm going to put it on. I just need to go. I even called air gas today. They called air gas today, and everybody's like, air gas is the shit. I have one right around the corner for me to go fill my suit and thing. And I called him and I was like, hey, you know, um, just wanted to basically wanted to talk to somebody about it. They're like, well, we don't just like build things up. We do a exchange program. And I was like, well, what's that going to cost me? Like, well, it's going to be like 98 for this thing. And then 22 bucks a refill. I'm like, well, I have a brand new five pound thing. I'll bring it in. 22 bucks. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably do better by going to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods or to a brewery. Brewery is what I'm thinking because a lot of people say you want like a uh, restaurant grade. Yeah, see, I'd be going to get that paintball stuff from Dick's Sporting Goods. You think you wouldn't know, though? I thought about that too, but, but I hear restaurant stuff is uh, more what you're looking for, more pure. Yeah, I just think it's just basically by the name. The truck is cleaner than the other truck. Yeah, but it's all the same. The gas is going to be the same gas. The same molecules makes carbon dioxide. Carbon oxygen. Carbon and two of oxygen. Yeah, but still, like, there's got to be a clear one's going to be cleaner. Uh, it's like welding CO2 or like trying to give somebody a soda CO2. It's probably giving somebody a soda cleaner CO2. Yeah, it probably just make it more healthier for you to use and deal with. All right, I think I may Yeah. Uh, Matt, if anybody, you, if anybody wants to play Matt's uh, Xbox, I'm getting on. LEMS, Matt, 788, LEMS, 788. Who wants to play? All right. Mike, man, I'm going to get off, Mike. Mike, I'm going to have to get off for a while and get uh, off to the house, man. Oh, here we go. All right, Clark. Yeah, yeah, you know, I get back with you, man. I'll probably uh stream a little bit tomorrow, man. Oh, shut man. up. Shut up, click Clark. Shut oh, up. Oh, oh, he's about to get off. Billy Pipes big ass one's on here. Billy and... Pipes is in the <laughs> building. <laughs> no, he told me like three minutes, like two hours ago. What happened? He's like, yo, give me a minute or two. I got something to do. Busy yeah. grown coral, bro. Busy grown coral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Billy got a, a tank full yeah. of good stuff. I need to pop up on Billy. I need to come see you, Billy. Dude, my AK oh, I got dude. <laughs> There's, I got like a field of stuff. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's by far the most. Like, dang, Billy bounced back very fast. Yeah, dude. I don't know what's going on, but it is working. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of Iraq stuff in that thing, huh? You got me about to add some T5s. Dude, the, I, so the T5s, I love the T5s, obviously. When I, add, when I, when I added, as soon as I, as soon as I put reef rights on, everything just went crazy. Yeah. Yep. Like here's the, here's a little, a sneak peekaroo. 
Of oh, downstairs. Here. Downstairs. So that's all that bird's nest. You have a bunch of it, huh? 40 frags. That's an ORA. Are those Duncans in the middle? You feel you. Lights are out, so they're all closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You, you even so talked about it in the last right. video, Billy, but didn't show it. No, yeah. Hey, you know, Billy just had a, a yeah. tank accident yeah. not too long ago. Yeah, he bounced back very fast. Yeah, it's just, uh, Billy's been straight. Collecting. Billy will be having a boost this year, and we from Palooza, New York. <laughs> yeah. One, one five four, I think. One fifty five. Big time. Five two four. Five two four. Oh, that was good. Oh, I had this got me about to try to make this trip to New York, man. So I can come hang out at the Billy Pikes booth. I'll be there. Oh, dude, it's gonna be fun. If you guys just want to like stop by and sit down, if there's this chair open, or, like we can hang out. And if you guys are like want to have hell yeah, man, absolutely bring some. Bring some Mountain Dew, oh, and you can come on. You can come on in. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'll pop, I'll pop up right next to you. Next year. You're like six four with a six four and a half. Ooh. Yeah, Billy's big, big. Billy's like yeah. Four Mike knows. Taller than me. <laughs> Mike won't even. Mike won't even. Mike walks up to me. He's like, "Hello, sir." <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm six two. I think you what, like six six, Billy? Four, six, six seven. No, you're not. Are you? You're that big, bro. You're, you're a waste of bigness. See, Mike, I'm still doing laundry. I know you are. It's fine. Whatever. Told you. So, Billy, what are you doing over there, Mike? Growing sand or what? Uh, I am growing bacteria at the moment, farming bacteria. Uh, trying to anyway, f trying to farm nitrates. Actually, it's cool. man, why you did just throw some Dr. Tim's in that thing and get I it did, all? I did. I did. Absolutely did. I, I, I threw a sixty gram, a sixty gallon dose of Dr. Tim's and like a big bottle of uh, stability or whatever it was. And I dosed that according to the direction. Yeah, but why are you adding all those different bacteria when you only need one? Well, I yeah. people, so I did it. <laughs> Billy, I'm going to take you off uh, presenting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to see me fold the baby blanket. I was to pull laundry. Yeah, we should have pulled that little closer for a point of the I'm a wash and dry mom. <laughs> yeah, Mike, you just overthinking a lot of this stuff, man. You just need to simplify. Go ahead and drop one simple bottle in and just put your fish and stuff in. And then That's what I did last time. I don't know. If you want to add some more bacteria later on, you just add a little strand here and there. Yeah, man, you overthinking this thing, man. This ain't rocket science. Yeah. The thing is. The thing is, the thing you have to realize, when you were in it last time, a lot has changed in a year. A lot. Yes. 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 Like, like for example, uh, you know, it's been known, but never really 100% proven that, I mean, look at my tank upstairs. I'm using all blue bulbs. Blue only. Yeah. No Coral Plus, no Actinic, no Whites nothing and it's growing fast oh, yeah how long until you get a calcium reactor how long will it take me to get one because i bet it happens well what i i mean i don't need one i know but you're gonna get now nah, billy does huh? water changes Back to back, so he's pretty good. Yeah, my water changes is not dosing now, he doses, so it's only a matter of time. So he switches over to calcium reactor, dude. It took me three, it took me three years to dose. 
you always told me you just do a wire tank. Yeah, it's true. You like yeah. you top of those water tanks. You can keep stuff healthy and alive with only water changes, but yeah. and you can also you can also raise your alkalinity and your calcium from four to eight only using a reactor. Yep. You don't have to dose like you told me. You have to dose, yeah. No, you don't. No. I don't know, but remember me you told me you like, oh you have to dose first. No, you, you can put a calcium reactor on it and have a five D cage. If your parameters are stable, you do not have to dose. But if your parameters are low, you need to get it up to where you want it to be so the calcium reactor is stable. You don't have to dose with with a calcium reactor. Your calcium reactor it does the dosing. Yeah, it should balance everything out. Yeah, if you yes. want to raise your if you want to raise your alkalinity you just, from you five just, to eight, you don't need you don't need to, listen. Shut up, or I'm gonna leave. If you want to <laughs> if you want to raise your alkalinity from five to eight, you don't need to dose. You don't have to use two part. You just adjust your calcium reactor. Yeah, but, yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. I was talking to Rico yesterday for like 45 minutes about that. That's all you got to do. That's what he's doing right now. He's struggling with the cows. Uh, so he's going to say, I would assume, like, I don't know how he controls it. I don't know if he's uh, uh, using his pH probe and uh, apex to control the pH in there. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't go into it that far because, like I said, like three or four different weeks. I'm a hand doser. Hand dosing, hand dosing to me, it is is good husbandry. Like if I rely on too much technology, I'll become lazy. I won't even look at my tank for days, and then I'll be like, "Oh shit, yeah, what happened?" You know? Yep. So I almost got dosers. I almost got the BRS 1.1 mils per minute because I have those little Wi-Fi things. It would have been perfect. But I said, you know what? I like hand dosing. I like measuring and and taking those extra because those extra five minutes when I'm testing and dosing, I'm looking at my skimmer. I'm looking at my return pump. I'm looking at my reactor while I'm doing all that. And I can make sure it's working properly. You know, it's, you know. Is that thunder? Yeah. Mike, you can put coral in your tank now. Oh, and by oh, you know what? That's what I wanted to jump on for too. So what? What? You would be foolish to not get the aquatic life fixture. Yep. If you if you went with so you could get that. You could get that fourth. You could get that fourth prime if you want. Yeah. But what I would do is I would get the aquatic life fixture, do four blue plus, put your two primes on there. If you want to add another, if you want to add because you have three, if you want to add a fourth and then put two on one side, two on the other, you'll grow any. You'll grow anything and everything you can think of. Oh yeah, definitely that. And it'll have ridiculous color with four bulbs and four primes. You should have no problem. Not at all. That fixture, is, that fixture is super cheap, and you can get hanging brackets that are adjustable. And with the end caps, you won't even need a canopy, dude. That sh that shit would look perfect. What kind of deal we talking? One time offer. You got twenty four <laughs> hours. You got one. You got twenty four hours to then twenty five to my paper. <laughs> How much? How much? You, can, you can pay the two ninety nine if you want. But if I didn't have a kid that stares up at the tank all the time, I would have that fixture. <laughs> it's the only reason I have a canopy is because he's constantly looking up at it and it's giving him a tan. Yeah, yeah. So you put four primes and four T five bulbs on that tank. You grow anything. Oh yeah, you could grow SPS on the sand, man. Dude, I'm growing. Now I know you're gonna say it's only bird's nest, but you know what? It's a small polyp stony. I like this. Dude, 
the I got acros. I got a, I got an acro. I got one acro. That's all. I, I don't really you know need acros to be a man, like you think. But I mean, you know how you're you, you Mike. See, click clack. Mike's always like, oh, bro, I'm gonna go SPS dominant, bro. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you think about it, I have 40, 47 frags of SPS in my tank right now, and they're all doing great. <laughs> and save me a piece of that orange one on the back wall. What's that? Save me a piece of that orange one on the back left. Oh, with those orange polyps? That thing's tight, right? <laughs> Dude, that's. I never would have thought I said that an SPS was one of my favorite corals in my tank right now, but it is. <laughs> What I really want is like a big body cap, just like the. I'll tell you, you talk if you talk to Dave, and you talk to Pat enough, they give you that bug, you know, like. So I like like. Uh, see, I like the bird's nest because they move a lot, you know. In my tank, they get real fluffy, so there's movement, which I gotta have in my tank. I gotta have. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for right now. Some movement in my tank. I think I'm gonna get an elegance core. If I, wanted, I, wa I wanted to get one of those, but I was just, you know, I wanted to keep my sand bed open, I guess. Yeah. See, I want, I want something for the clowns to live in, but I don't want to get an enemy because the yeah. enemy crawl all over your SPS and all your yeah. stuff and sting everything. So I just yep. figured that I would go with one of those. Yep. Talk about needing movement to take. Yeah. Like if, if, if you used if you use stability for eight days, like it says, or whatever, seven days, you can put anything you want in there. You just need light. Obviously, you need you need light, obviously. But I'm telling you, if you get that fixture, that thing is yeah, like another hundred. Yeah. Okay. If you wanted to be a if you wanted to get into a cheap hobby, go get some goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's your tank. This is, this is a whole. No, this is. I mean, I I did play in the tanks. It's not super cheap, but oh. yeah, but, it, that's yeah. added. When I think the lights that I have would be just enough. I don't even think four primes over that tank would be enough. To be honest Wait, with you. Pickaxe the uh, the prime. Uh, yeah, hold on a minute. Dictator. Yeah, if you went with if you went with an aquatic life fixture and four primes, you'd you'd be you'd be up a notch on my belt. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get a, trying to pay my way into a next notch. I'm just saying. Saying, Mike, you know what? If you win that pump, Mike, I'll what? trade you. If you win that pump, I'll trade you. For what? A T5 fixture. For a what? One two ball T5 fixture? I'll give you. I'll send you an aquatic life fixture. For if you win that pump. Because I need a backup return pump. I'm about to order a Jabo for 104 bucks. But if you want. I'll trade you. It's a three hundred for three hundred swap. They're both two ninety nine. Oh, yes. So it's a two bulb. Huh? It's a two bulb, right? Four. So how would I? How would I work that in? What? Four four T five balls running down the middle with the front and the outside. I can't. I can't hear you. You're you're muffled. I'm saying. How would I work that? Four bulbs in the middle. No, you ever seen it? Have you ever seen that fixture? Yeah, it's it's two bulbs on the front, two bulbs on the back, and it comes with brackets for Kessels, Radions, and um, a multi bracket. What you do is you get the hanging kit for the AI primes, and it bolts right to those brackets. But I could even I could even make a bracket. A DIY bracket for probably a dollar each. Also, I wanted to reach out to you the other day. Where'd you get those like easily bendable? Uh, I told Lowe's. Lowe's. I told you. I don't. I, even I, could, up on I couldn't find them. If I can get them free shipping, I'm order them. I don't even have to go there. But I could. They were on the web. 
when, when I go back inside, I'll look for the paper and see if there's a number on it. You can, I'll, you know, take a screenshot of it or something. I had to mute Clax. He was like driving. Let's see how it's going now. He has to unmute himself. Oh, uh, does he? Yeah, you're right. He's like driving he's like super loud. Uh, Nanome says, oh, sh. Aquatic Lake makes that fixture. Are you, you want me to look at something? I'm not looking at the screen right now. I'm just reading it to you. I got a piece. Yeah, Aquatic Life Hybrid. I have one downstairs all built that I did for a video. For what? And, and they actually have a cool option now. They actually have a cool option now where so the normal brackets that it comes with are makes it 18 front to back but if you want to bring if you want to bring the t5s closer together they have a 16 inch bracket system it's just different end caps and it brings it closer together so the t5s are more centered over the tank and you put your ai primes right over the i, I could actually make aluminum brackets so that they just sit in perfectly and they just sit in there flush with the t5s I'd have if to see. Could. I don't mm -hmm. think I know what you're saying right now. You have to what? Hold on, give me one second. I am trying to jump on my phone. I gotta go on phone, dude. I keep doing it though, and then it's like still nothing. It's just my. Yeah, I gotta go outside. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Roommates, the roommate's still puzzling. I think I'm presented right now, huh? Damn it. You can hear me, right? As long as you talk, you're presented. Oh, because I'm talking on here, but but my computer's presented right now. So, Billy, 5 what? 524? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to be there. I, I need to take the day off because in April, I re-up on vacation time. So I think that's like another, uh, whatever it is. It's like two, I get like another two weeks vacation and then whatever. Hour well, it's later. probably what, two hours from you? Uh, what, just what is it, the caucus? Is that what it is? Yeah, dude, it's a tip. It's a tip of yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, it's right over like the G George Washington. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's like 15 minutes from New York. Yeah, I think it's probably like two hours for me. Yeah. But I, but I, I don't know. I, I want to. You could even go there and back. But what if I check it out and I got like, I got if I can just take because I have Friday off and I've I have every other Sunday off. So if it's my every other Sunday, then I could potentially like leave on a Friday. As long as I could stay somewhere, I guess I would. I don't know. I'd have to check out hotels or your couch or something. But well, unfortunately, with the dog, you'd have to stay in the basement, <laughs> which would not be fun for you because it's a little couch. But well, she, otherwise, if you were to stay upstairs, because we had somebody stay over, is. I don't know. It's a, you know, it's it's extra money. Yeah, obviously. Because we had we had somebody stay at the house. Her her sister stayed at the house a couple weeks ago for one night and the dog was fucking growling for eight, eight hours little walkies yeah because she like if she hears movement she goes and then wakes up and then goes back to bed and then because she just thinks there's somebody in the house and she you know she's a guard dog <laughs> as little as she is if there's somebody dude there was somebody like hanging out in front of the house one night a couple kids just like talking and she was barking like crazy because they were by my truck the truck my van. <laughs> so you're gonna have a pretty. You have a. You've a, you've been collecting for a while now. You got a nice little collection going on, huh? No? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's when I'm, when I'm when I'm when I'm doing is it's you know homegrown, yeah. pest-free coral. That's what it should be called. And let this tank homegrown coral. Yeah, I'm gonna have a big sign that says that's all. That's all it's gonna be in my tank is tank raised coral. 
nothing shipped in from wholesale anywhere. It's, it's it's been grown and cut. You know the wholesale game. Why wouldn't you get into it? I'm not a whole. I'm a freaking hobby. But you know how to do it, though. <clears throat> Here, actually, you know what? Here, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show you this light fixture. All right, let me go. I'm running inside right now. Huh? I'm running inside right now. I've been outside the whole time. Hold on, I gotta. I don't know why in Hangouts, every time I'm watching somebody else, it's like distorted. I don't know why. It might be where I'm at in the basement. It was happening earlier with Phil, so it's it might be my connection though. I don't know because because everybody else is everybody else. Is, excuse me, it's clear. This is a really nice looking fixture. I can't even see. It. I gotta hold on. I gotta grab the cords. So hold on. Give me a second. I have it like all wrapped up nice. So I'll show you the and the prize you just slide right through. Now look. Trade for trade. And that's what you want to do. That's four bulbs right there. Run it. Deal. Done. Like if you, you know, you put one here and here. Yeah, flip it over. Flip the flip it over. So hold on. Now this is the this is the 16 inch version. Okay. It comes with end brackets right here. The normal ones are 18. So it's you know it's further out and out. This is the 16 inch version. And if you hang it without a canopy, you can also get these nice end brackets. So it covers the wires. See how it looks all nice and pretty. Is that a four foot? Yep. And my AIs will fit right in there. Look. So what do you want? That that M1? I couldn't hear you. So what do you want? The M1? Done. 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 See, we'll see. No, what but, do you mean? It was your offer earlier. What are you taking it back now? And, and the cool thing about it is, is the ballasts are on the outsides, so the bulbs are more centered. You know what I mean? So what do I have control of? Two at a time? Probably two at yeah, a time. Yeah, one plug works the front, one plug works the back. But what you do is is you could easily you could have the front two come on an hour before these and at the end of the night this would go off an hour before these so it's like a sunset but front to back yeah, yeah i get what you're saying all right so the m1 ford if if i win because it's it's <laughs> not yeah, sure the best video well not this fixture this was not this fixture this fixture was given to me for a video for the m1 I, this is this is eventually this one right here is eventually going to go upstairs all right so what are you trying to sell me then because it's a, a new one. I drop ship it. Done. <laughs> Sign me up. What, 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 you got yourself a deal, Billy. If I win that. that you see it, though, right? Like, I thought it was like when I saw it in person for the first time, and then you add these, and they make a really nice gooseneck, but it's, you know, it's a metal pipe that comes up and over, and it's adjustable. So you bolt it to the back of your tank, and then, because this comes with a hanging kit. And you mount it directly to the hanging kit with really, sh you know, it comes with a wire, so you can make the wire like yeah, two inches tall, and it's virtually invisible because you right. can run you run these right down the gooseneck. So, so what's what's that retail? Two ninety nine, with just without the end caps and without the shortening kit. Or the decor, the, the decor. Caps, I th I, for I don't remember what they. I don't even know what they are. Everything you have in your hand right now, what's that cost? This is probably like, probably like three seventy five. Retail. Well, I gotta shut my camera off for a second because it's uh, 
gonna I'm gonna it's gonna die. I'll go walk by a mirror and you have your pants off. No, my batteries just blinked and I got fifteen percent. I was gonna use it over this deep blue tank that I had down here. But I think Johan wants it. Or Yavo. What's up, Clipso? So, yeah, Mike, if you want stickers from people, it's sticker for sticker. Yeah, I saw that. My first sticker trade. I saw, saw your post oh. today. McCollum, McCollum, right? Oh, yeah, I got one from I, I got a couple yeah, comments. Yeah, it was your IG post today. My first. Yeah, that was, that was my, today, but I saw it today. today was uh, Johnny. Johnny. I forget his Instagram. It's a. Uh, I forget it's up there. I want to make a sticker. I just want to. Hello. Like, I can have like, my daughter. Make one. There it is. I can have my daughter make one for you. She made one for fishy the other day. It's legit. I just try. Right, well, tell her to make it. I'll, I'll, I'll pay because I was trying to do it. Like, like you got to like make the image translucent. Like I don't know. It was hard. I, I don't know. It was, it was tough to figure out. I guess. I had her add some sexy shrimp to a fishy snowman thing, dude. And his shit, he's got like the exclusive. He'll show it when he's ready. <laughs> but it's awesome. Looks really good. Plug in, now I'm at 10%. Are you about to plug in? So yeah, what's the what's the dates for uh, Reaper Was it twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, something like that? Twenty two, twenty three. Twenty two, twenty three. So Saturday, Sunday. Uh, where's my? Hold on, I'll be right back. Like one, I'll be back in like one minute. All right. I think you said twenty two, twenty three. So. Let me figure it out. I work every other Sunday. Um, twenty-two, twenty-three. All right, hold on. I just messed up again. Yeah. I'm off, on, off, on. Off the 23rd. I am off June 23rd. Or is it July? Is it July, Billy? It's June, right? All right. Hey, please. hey is it June or July? June. June. I'm off the 23rd. And I'm off the 21st because it's a Friday and I'm always off the 21st. So if I just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or Wait, you don't have to go Friday. Friday's set up. I'm just saying I have three days off in a row either way. So if I leave, but I would have to leave like mad early Saturday, Sunday morning, or Saturday morning. Why mad early? I don't know. Does it open? I don't think it opens till like 11. So yeah, you're right. Huh? It open at eleven. I could probably leave at eight. I guess that's not bad. 
Yeah, I mean, the line's kind of long, but you get right in after, like, as soon as the door opens at 11, you're in the building at, like, 20 after. Yeah. Like, no, actually, like, 10. It's only, like, a 10-minute walk because you prepay. So once the door's open, you know, 500 people walk in. Remind me tomorrow at 11 a.m. to talk to Aaron about taking the 22nd off. Okay. I'll remind you. She's gonna remind me. So tomorrow I'm requesting it off. So done. I'll be there. Yeah, I would just go Saturday and then check hotels if it's crazy expensive or whatever. But like I mean it's like New Jersey, so like save them like even if I'm like 30 minutes away, I gotta wake up and drive 30 minutes. What would be a one night hotel room? I don't even know. I don't I don't I haven't slept in a hotel room. 120. Do I get con- t- continental breakfast? I, honestly, save the 120 and put it towards other stuff. You just, really? well, how, much, how much would it be for gas to go back and forth? Tolls. Sleep in your basement or sleep with waffies? Yeah. I'll be no fun Saturday night because, you know, as soon as I get back, I'll, I'm beat. I'm going to have to clean and yada, yada, yada. I'm not talking about going out. That's what you're worried about. Well, a lot of people go out. They go to the city Saturday night and get partied out. I do get partied out from time to time. We'll see. Because, like, like, hotels in the city are pretty The last time I was there, we- Forty or something for one night. Okay. There, Clips, are you want to take a ride? You want to split a hotel room? I thought I saw some somebody messaged me and they said they might ride with you. Might be close though. I asked. Oh yeah, I tried to get him to go with me to uh, uh, the Hidden Reef. Who? Uh, Calypso. Gotcha. Because he's um he's in Connecticut, but he's like on my way to New York. Yeah, split a freaking hotel room and gas money. She's Calypso run it. We get two twins. And the cool thing is, is if you get coral on Saturday, you can just leave it in my tank overnight, you know? Um, and then we'll go to Reefco, because I want to go there again. I want to buy <laughs> some stuff with them. He'll be yep. there. Well, you got a couple pieces, huh? i seen in your video. Who's that? You. Me? Yeah, you can get a couple pieces of Reefco recently. What, of Reefco stuff? Not Rico, Reefco. No, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean I got a couple pieces? No, I was pretty sure I lost something recently that you bought a couple new things. Oh, uh, dude, what, coral from him? Yeah. I got like 30 frags from him. Recently, also a couple days. Yep. Well, I've had, them in my, I've had them in my tank for a while. Okay, you're, you're right. So the video you posted about, yeah, when you show all them frags, there's a bunch of Rico stuff in there. I want to go. I'm going, I'm going there. I'm going there Tuesday. Actually, um, it's going to be just me and him. And hey, I'm going to do a complete hey, video. Huh? Said, hey, can I get the Billy Pipes discount? Yeah, jerk off. <laughs> I just made my discount go higher, not lower. Uh, Coach says, yeah, Billy, I want that purple monster. Yep. I think I told him I'll save this one. Coach says, uh, do, uh, do, you, do you know anything about Calypso's fish tank? He's got two of them. He's got two nice uh, I forget. He just posted a video. Calypso, join in here. Oh, okay. Calypso, what's your email? Um, what's his video? I forget. He's in California. He's in Connecticut, but he's like way closer to New York. So he's like, way, he's two hours, almost two hours closer to you than he is to me. 
there's going to be a lot of people, dude. This cool. year, this year, when when it comes to people hanging out, there's going to be a lot. I'm I'm talking like a lot of people. A little red wagon. No, I'm not. I'm not bringing a red wagon. I don't need it now. Yeah, that was my that was my portable booth. Move this back the U-Haul up to get all the cash cash out of there. What do you got? You, you sell dry goods. What do you got? You got a bunch of dry goods, I guess. Enough to open Me? a store. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I got. I got power power heads, heater, heaters, return pumps, um, RODI systems. Um, started for years. Reactors. What's that? I said you probably got Foscard for years. No, actually, I'm getting a lot. Are you really? And I lost my I lost my Seachem sponsorship when I switched from Matrix to Marine Pure. Say it again. When I switched from Seachem Matrix, and I and I and I started using Marine Pure. Yep. They said, "See ya." I was thinking about getting a block or two because, like, I always had the spheres and I don't like them because they build up detritus. But I think it's uh, like the uh, the uh, like brick will be easier to like pull out and clean out. Not even you would think you would think that, but it's not. The um, there's too many test results coming back. The four by eight by eight. There's too many test results coming back with aluminum. And, oh, really? Yeah, and the. The one inch plate and the spheres aren't coming back positive for that at all. So that's why that's yeah, that's why I went all spheres and okay. chucked my big blocks. What I, what got me thinking the other day is funny that, that uh, we're talking about this because I thought about it. Uh, is remember when you made like the basket so you can just like pull it out and clean? What's that? Remember when you had like the baskets of whatever that plastic stuff is you had like baskets that held your in some media yeah remember yeah well i had the baskets that held the spheres so if i wanted to clean the sump i could just move the, i could stack the spheres and vacuum but i don't want to clean my sump anymore so i just let them sit in the bottom there for whatever to run around in them you know yeah starfish and whatever i'd really honestly i'd like to do like a quarter inch sand bed down there and then just put the marine pure all on top of it like a like a bigger sand bed like like um crushed coral in, in the refugium yeah because i'm still you know i i uh with with the fish that i have i mean even though they're just chromis they still they still shit like tangs cuz they're big and they eat a lot and yeah. with the fish that i have and the way I maintain the tank, I, st I still I still can't get high phosphate readings and high nitrate readings. So if I start a refugium and add chato, I'm worried that it's going to suck my... Yeah, because it's done that before. And that was using just like a regular LED bulb that I took out of the dining room light. Do you think you like... You think you feed lightly, but you think you're feeding more than you are. No, no, no. I, I mean, that's and that's even when I wasn't rinsing my the, the food. I was I was feeding two cubes a day, that's which a is lot. yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. And and I still couldn't get over point zero eight phosphates. Why do you want more than that, though? I don't want more than that. But I couldn't get up. I couldn't. If I'm going to have a refugium, I got to have phosphates and nitrates to feed it. Uh, so you're saying that you didn't want to set it up because your 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 parameters are where they should be. So why even set one up? Basically, exactly. So don't set one up. How often do you getting, do walkthroughs, Billy? Getting really. What are you using? The, the mic on your. It's like, computer? Yep. Why? It's, it's like really bad feedback. Is it? Like I can hear myself. 
Alright, well. Plugging the uh, Turtle uh, Beaches, bro. It's gonna, yeah, it's what I play. What I play my Xbox with. It's a good headset, but let me um connect it. But I don't. I don't really know how to be honest with you. So we'll go to Bluetooth. I mean, let me see if I talk again. Yeah, I keep hearing myself come back like a robot. Because I'm like really loud. How about now? Hi, my name is Billy. Welcome to the stream. My name is Billy, and I have a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's better. I don't hear myself now. Because it was just all the way up. Oh, yeah. So I don't need this. I disconnected it earlier because I, was, I couldn't figure out how to get my mic on. I don't think it would have worked either because... When Dave tried to change his mics mid-stream, I, I don't think it did anything. It was weird. So we're good now. Yeah, I just had it like all the way up because I couldn't hear it. But I mean, yeah, as long as it was, I think we'll be all right. Can't go right now, brother. There's a lot going on here. Uh, so, <clears throat> I got, um, I ordered, what did I order? I have a skimmer stand coming, Billy. Did you? Yep. Okay. I ordered, like, one of, like, the little, like, unscrew it, drop it down, screw little, whatever it is, the plastic screw in. The acrylic, yeah. Like, screw whatever it is. Yeah, it was a, twenty yeah. bucks, ten dollars shipping, so I paid thirty dollars from the same company who built my. Um, it's Modular Marine, Modular Marine. It's the one that made my open book my last book. Um, and yeah, it was it was twenty bucks plus ten for shipping, so thirty dollars. And you can go from go all the way bottomed out at three inches. So if I need to go lower than that, then I, I guess I'm screwed. But I don't think from from your advice, I don't think I need to. So it goes from three up to five inches. So there's a two inch variant. I think five and a half, something like I don't know. But if your seven inch is right, seven. Would you say seven inch? You're cutting it out, dude. I don't know. I think seven inch. Would you say what you say the um, skimmer works best at? You said seven inches, right? It's like seven and an eighth. Yeah, so mine, yeah, so I have four inches of water to play with. What it, what was mine? I, I told you I needed. I think you said ten, right? What? I think you said your your yours is ten right now. Yeah, but but what I need is three inches because yeah. my. That's right. Yeah, you needed it to come up three. Yep. Yeah. So yep. I ordered it, whatever. If it comes and it works great. Well, it should, yeah. I wanted that little Corian joint because I have one now. I have one of the I have one of the Billy Pipes is 1.0. Yeah, that was like that was like that was like, that was like point oh. <laughs> yeah, now there's like that was, in my, that was in my early days when I was like just experimenting and I'm like, all right, let me I thought because I built them to be like super strong, but they didn't need to be that fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> the only flaw to that is there was no flow inside of it. Yeah. You, know? you had those but, holes. But I, I did build one like that for, I did build like, I did build like one like that for somebody. And when he went to take his skimmer out after like six months to clean it, he took that out too. And there was like 4,000 brittle stars in there just breeding and eating everything. It was, he said it was spotless on the underneath because there was so much life growing in it. That's crazy. Yeah, it was like a hatchery for those things. So it was Pretty cool. Sure that's why you have so many subscribers now. Is because what? when you sent me that and I did an unboxing, you were at like 300. Oh, so yeah. It's all you, Mike. It's all you. So you have 7K now. It's all you. <laughs> yeah, we got you. You, me were, and, you, were, me you and, were. You were at like three or four when that happened. It's all you. Thanks, money. Thanks, money, Mike. I got your back, dude. <laughs> 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 
it could be to the 230 videos that i made it could be that <laughs> you have i think i'm at like one like 40 or something you know what's, you know what's crazy is is fishy and i were talking tonight and we we've been trying to figure out who the king of saltwater is on youtube and, a, and he a, figured he figured out who it is huh who's that take a guess just take a quick guess who do you think was the, the and when we when, when we when we say what are we talking about but like you know views and subscribers for saltwater channel you're gonna throw somebody out like joe who you're gonna throw somebody out like uh nano joe or something no he doesn't have no so the person that has a saltwater only channel with the most views, with the most views and the most subscribers, is Cor is Coral Fish Twelve G. Yeah, you're right. He just did a, he just got his hundred thousand subscriber play, play button. Yeah, you got it. And he's got, he's he's been doing it since December 29th. So we'll say January of 2000, and he's been doing it for seven years, seven years and two months. He's yeah, got 115. And he's got 15 million views and he has 231 videos, That's it. which isn't, yeah. a, which isn't a lot. Yeah. I mean, I put out 230 in the past two and a half years. Right. Yeah. Yep. But he's, but he's, he, when he was putting out his videos, his informational videos, we're, we're talking five, six years ago. When he was little, he was real little. Yeah. And there, and there wasn't a lot of videos like that out there. There really wasn't. You know, I started my reef tank watching that kid. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I, I haven't seen, I haven't been subscribed to him for years because he, he was, wasn't putting out videos, you know? Yeah. Somebody said something, I think last night it was like, it was, it was just like such a ran, random comment. Somebody was like, you know, I feel bad. I had to unsubscribe to Corvus 12G because he had like like some kind of political influence on his last video, which I guess I didn't see it. But that was just totally random and they, they said exactly that, that they felt bad. They've been following Corvus 12G for like four or five years and then he had like some they made it seem like he had some kind of political influence on his yeah. video. I can't I can't watch I can't watch big YouTube channels anymore because Who did he have on well, I I can't relate to them. They're doing things totally. They're they're usually old schoolers, so it's like their methods are completely different. Yeah. And I prefer watching people that I know yeah. because it's like yeah, it's like you know, like you get to know the person through YouTube. You know their tank. You know if they do DIY. If you got DIYs, I'll watch your channel all day. Yeah. You know, and even tank updates, I like them. What, what what they if they added something new? Or, I like channels that show me what they're running, show me what they're using, if it's good, if it's no good, if they like it, if they don't like it. You know, that's like the stuff I like to watch. It doesn't have to have any editing whatsoever. Nothing. I don't. I don't need that fancy Peter, shit. Like Mike from Mass, he he's got quite a few. He yeah. never edits. He added. He adds like a intro and an outro, and that's it. Lately, I've been just not, I haven't even put music to my videos. The last like 10 videos, no music because it's so much easier. It is easier. Have, yeah. And, and people don't really care for music. I thought, I thought it was more, more enjoyable to watch and listen with a little music in the background, but I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it, when I'm watching videos, I don't care if there's music or not. I like, I like music. Like when, I like, when when T makes his videos, I ride out to T's videos for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But if he did three videos a week with music three times a week, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother you know what's me. What's really nice, Billy, and you could probably appreciate this, is <clears throat> when you don't have to do any of that completely, like not even intro, outro, yeah. no like chopping and editing, like, like just to point and shoot and actually make yeah. a video. That's yeah. cool. Like, I enjoy doing it. Again. I used to. I used to be big on hey guys, blah 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 blah, and then an intro, and then the thing. But now I'm. I've been keeping the intro and the music because when my son was a baby, he would dance to the music, so it's like sentimental. 
but lately I've been not wanting to add any intro and just get right to it, you know, and instead of wasting people's 12 seconds, you know, that's also 12 seconds of how many views you get for a few minutes. Yeah. But I'm not worried about that. Couple, if, I'm doing, if I'm doing something that I think somebody would like, or somebody has been, you know, like this aquatic life fixture, it, watch my aquatic life fixture video and you'll see that fixture for 10 minutes and you'll see it, you know, what it's all about. I don't think I did music to that or I just put it together and showed it and it's sturdy. Yeah. Once it's bolted together, it's nice and sturdy. Dude, it's easy. A $300 hybrid and you can put any light you want in it. You can, they even made it a kit now where you can add the black boxes to it. So really? Oh, so it's like an extender, not just the, the, yeah. 60, yeah. Whatever you said. Like the, the, they also have a, I think it's called a 22 or something like that now or a 20. You know, but that would be too big for your tank. But if you had a 120, you could buy the hybrid, get the extender kit, because it comes with universal brackets. Yeah. And the universal brackets line up to the four, you know, screw holes. So you pretty much just take those little pins out, you put the brackets on, you put the pins back in, and it interlocks with the freaking fixture. So what's so what's the uh the distance between the four bulbs on the one that you showed me. Uh, I think it's four inches. Is it four? I don't know what it, I don't know what a half prime is. It looks like it'll nestle right down in there. Yeah, like what I would do if I was doing primes on this fixture, I wouldn't even use their brackets. What I would do personally, I would use their brackets, but I would attach aluminum angle bracket, aluminum angles to it, and. You remember that remember that hybrid that I built out of aluminum angle? It was the DIY I one I did with the uh the ship boxes and the T fives. I mean like a while ago, yes. Yeah. I didn't yeah. But I your first like get my toes wet with LEDs. Dude, you know how many you know how many people ask me to build one of those and send it to them? I probably I I could say probably thirty people asked me to build them one because it was perfect. You could slide the lights back and forth. You don't have to like what I would do is I would take two pieces I of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What we're talking about yes, I remember. I would, I would do the same thing for your primes. Your primes would just sit in there, and you could slide them wherever you want. And if you, they wouldn't pop out because they would be snug fitting. You know what I mean. Yeah, and if you really wanted to, you could just take some double-sided Velcro just to make sure they don't slide or whatever. A piece of aluminum angle earns like for two four-foot pieces, you're talking like fifteen bucks. Done. Just all yeah, I have to do is just I just drill holes into the side bracket and mount it, mount the aluminum to it, which would probably take me twenty minutes, and you're done. Yo, know, you, it's funny that we're talking about this because you know what it reminded me of. Remember, remember your cast iron like spin canopy. Yeah, that was cool. Oh yeah, because you could just like spin it to the side and just it's yeah. on a it's on a threaded thing, but it's uh -huh. cast iron, so just yeah, you just like slide slid it over, get it out of my way. Yeah, I still have that. I still have that downstairs. That thing was pretty cool. I totally forgot about that. I, you, you should do another video on that. Um, I met up with a guy two years ago when I was carrying the wagon around. Uh, a guy came to Palooza and I gave him that. I gave him the fixture. I kept the, I kept the bracket, but he wanted the the fixture, so I just gave it to him. That was cool because it was like articulating. Yeah, you could you could go side to side and spin it, so completely. Yeah, out of the way. yeah yep, you could. Yeah. Had two different ones because as long as it was like halfway through. If you spun it either way, it wouldn't matter because it's not going to be enough to fall out or be too much. Yeah, because it went in like five turns. Yeah, so it was like halfway through the thread. Yeah. Yeah, so that was cool. I remember that because you literally just like took your canopy, slid it over, and then yep. got it out of your way so you can do whatever you had to do. Yep. That was cool. That was a good idea. And all the wires ran through it, so it was like yeah, seamless. Just slid right with it, yep. Oh. That was nice. That was Very a nightmare. Getting the wires through that was not fun. 
is you fit you you've threaded it right through those pipes because it was yeah. it was all like cast iron and it was like cast iron fitting. Yeah, it, was, it was black and, iron and conduit, right? Like thick conduit. No, just just black iron. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah, remember that? You it was like hang, we use those to hang um, expansion tanks, like heavy duty expansion tanks from yeah. ceilings. So I was like, shoot, if I could put a hundred a hundred pound expansion tank on it, I could put a twenty pound light fixture on it. Hey, can you find a deal on like a uh, like a bit like a like a plastic? Basically, for me, a RO like holding, like a more vertical than anything. Oh, I want like a. If I could get like one that was like I don't know, like fourteen inches in diameter. What like a like a gallon held a hundred gallons? I don't know if that's even possible, but it's like hundred gallons. I don't know something. So I want a lot. Dude, that's eight hundred and fifty pounds. That's fine. It's uh, it's in the basement. It's on the it's it's in the basement on a, on a slab. Yeah. Oh. You don't need that. What do you need that much water for, dude? Oh, well, I mean, I guess not. I mean, I have fifty downstairs right now. Like, nothing just like, better. There's, dude, there's like, nothing I better don't want than a fifty-gallon drum because I want something to go like skinny and tall, just like tuck. tuck the only the only reason I would not recommend that is because it's going to be difficult to clean if you could clean it at all. Well, yeah, because you have to reach down like six feet to get to the bottom, and you ain't getting your arm in it if it's that skinny. You know, you ain't gonna get a brush in there. Well, I like I like the brute cans because I don't know. Every three four months, I I empty the water doing water changes, and then I take it out and I s- nail it with like 160 degree water and I scrub it and then I rinse it and then scrub it and then I dry it and I fill it back up. So I have brutes, but the, I only have two, and they're only 20 gallons. I so it probably holds like 18. I have two 20 gallons and a 10. I have two 20 gray ones and a yellow 10 gallon. What I would, I, uh, I, that's I, perfect, I, actually. It'd be nice to have like 100 gallons somewhere just yeah. to, find, to have 100 gallons. Well, you need a, yeah, but you only have a freaking 75 gallon tank. I don't know. It would just be nice. Like I thought about 55 gallon the drums, but I don't know. I want it to go vertical. I don't want like a big, you know, somewhere, sitting somewhere. I want something I mean, tall. You, the most you'd be able to get is like a 60 vertical. You look at water heaters. Oh. Water heaters are 60 inches tall and they're 22 inches wide and they still only hold 30 gallons of water. Yeah. Hey, when are you going to make that under, uh, under, under sink? connection for my oh, that's right that's right damn it dude if you can do that i'll pay for forgot it forgot about it. send me what i need yep I'll pay for your time and your the it money would, i could literally do it right now if it wasn't <laughs> well, you go out to your van you got everything yeah, i need that's right yeah I'd like it would literally take me all right run it let me see what do i have all right give That'd me a second so easy if i could just Open the under my cabinet under the sink. Shit, right now. Pull out two hoses and just tuck one in the sink and one into a container. Done. Just turn one valve. Okay, we're gonna do this live. <laughs> You're gonna make me a pivot. I'm gonna build it. Done. Run it. Run it. Fuck's going on out here. Dude, how warm is it? Uh... What the fuck is going on out here? Oh. Billy lives in South Central. Today was a good day. It's Don't like you power company? These su- yeah, these son of a bitches better not cut the power to my. Yeah. Okay, you there? I'm here. I'm about to go outside though, and I'm going to. Uh, I am going to jump to my phone. You watching or no? Uh, give me one second. Hold on. 
I need to. Oh, this is so All right, I'm muted. Uh, would you grab what I needed? Yeah. Damn, I wish I had like a workshop like you got, dude. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm lucky. It really would, dude. It really you are. Like just to have like the work benches and like the frag tank. Yeah, I'm lucky. Okay. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand here. No, it's not. Yeah, that's just easy to cut. Well, I'm saying putting it together. Why are you cutting why are you cutting that up? Hold on, where's my tripod? I have my tripod over here. Wait a second. Here it is. This is what I was actually gonna do a video on. Hold on, let me set my tripod up. So this is basically like I just have to like use a pair of like uh, channel locks and unscrew i gotta turn the water off i would assume unscrew it for the no, channel locks you. and then plug it in and then i'm like good to go right i'm gonna show you you don't need to use you, you need a, an adjustable wrench okay okay a I small one yep yeah, i got one there you go see it good yeah good enough yep is everybody else can everybody else see it or they see your icon I, I can't see i can't see uh I see, see you, and I, and I wasn't broadcasting anybody. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Uh... Well, you gotta if you're gonna have live streams, you gotta be on top of this shit, or else you ain't gonna have nobody well, hanging out. I don't know sure. what you're trying to tell me to do. Huh? I don't know what you're trying to tell me to do. To present I me, you. I see you on my phone, so I feel like my my phone is is just yeah, another it, guy. It, yeah, you gotta out. you gotta you can't be going outside for breaks, dude. You're gonna it's a lame well, stream. I, I, yeah, you know, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. Well, then don't stream. I smoke cigarettes. I don't know. What you have to... Well. You okay. Understand that. That's, what, that's what I was saying earlier about like uh, Dave streams. Like he doesn't even go to piss in like eight hours. It's crazy. He has like seventy people there the whole time. I know. I don't know how he doesn't go pee <laughs> at some point. Well, he does, but he's got other. To. He leaves people control. Yeah, he's got other people in. That's why I need you in here with me. Well, I don't. I'm not at my computer for you to give me control. So, all right. Well, here I am. All right. I'm getting getting off my phone. All right. You are presented. Yeah. Boom. Exactly what I need. But well, there's got to be another another valve to it. Is that what you're building right now? So that little ball valve right there will will 
stop the pressure from the I think if I need it really. There's mine. But where's your, where's yours fed in from? Is that the line? See this T? Yep. This goes to my refrigerator. And then this blue line, I have a valve here, and that goes to my water line. Must be nice to be a plumber in this hobby. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go under your sink. Okay. Yep. Will that fit though? I don't think it will. I sent you the pictures. Will that? Dude, I'm a fucking master licensed plumber. Okay. Yeah. Next time you say, "Are you sure?" I'm not gonna do it. I, don't know, I, f I feel like the connection is pissing me off. All right, run it. If you said you might buy a new Mercedes, and you said, "Man, it's not a good deal, dude," I would trust you. All right, touche. Where your valve is under your sink. Yep. Take the supply line off. You know, shut the valve off. Take the supply line off. Okay. Put this on it. It's a rubber gasket, so you don't have to put Teflon and your, your supply line. You don't have to put Teflon. That has a rubber gasket in it as well. Take your supply line off. Put this on the valve. Tighten this up. And then just go like a quarter turn with a wrench. Put your supply line on. Quarter turn with a wrench. When you turn this back on, this will always be on to your faucet. Always. And this is your RO. So when you want to turn your RO on, you turn your RO on. When you want to turn it off, you turn it off. And then you just, you know, you go like this. And I don't have to mess with this actual, like, sink, right? No. Okay. Just this. And when you want to okay. stop making RO, you turn this off, push this in, pull it out. Okay? But do I need, even need to pull it out? Unless you want a hose stick into your RO unit. But if you got to take your RO unit out or whatever, if it's going to be, if your RO unit's going to be, if your RO unit's going to be under the sink, then you can leave it in. <laughs> Phil says, "Master fucking plumber, Mike, listen." Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Phil. If anybody knows Mike Lemming, he don't listen to nobody. He always questions everything. Good try. He could. You, you could go to your doctor and be like. Doctor, are you sure you can cure I can't, this? Are you sure, bro? Because I read on the forum that I don't. Yeah, exactly. To. That's you, Mister Freaking Forum. <laughs> Mister Forum. <laughs> just like, just like Phil. If Phil has something to say about this hobby, you listen to him. You know why? Because you look at his videos. Yes. That's it's his. So that's his. That's his doctorate right there. That's his degree. You're right. Now, if you if you look at my house and you look at the plumbing and you see that there's no leaks, that's what I do. Since 1995, I haven't done any I haven't pumped gas, I didn't sell cars, I didn't push shopping carts. I graduated from high school, I went to Pace University to be a history teacher, dropped out to take over to parents company. They got divorced 6 months after I dropped out of college and I've been plumbing ever since. There you go. There's my story. All right, well, you're blacked out right now. The little lights turn off. I put my phone down. There you go. So there you go. There's your fitting. If you want it, you can PayPal me 65 bucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> there it is. Okay? No way. How... 65. Well, so here's not 65. I was just joking. Yeah, you but, this, but this valve is this valve is probably this whole setup right here that I just did is probably like twenty bucks. Believe it or not. All right. Well, because inside inside here is a Teflon ferrule, which is important because if you use a brass ferrule and you tighten this up, the brass ferrule will dig in to the polyethylene tubing, and eventually this will just pop off in the middle of the night, and then you'll get kicked yeah. out of your house. That's what I'm worried about, yeah. Yeah, well, as you can see, by this, 
it's this has been here for five years. Do you see any drips or you got everything color coded too, huh? Well, yeah. You open a wall. The reason why it's color coded is if you open a wall and you want to attach something to a water line in the wall, you go, oh, okay. That's blue, oh. so it's cold in my house. That's how it's supposed to be, but that's how it should be. I've asked you multiple times on two different houses which is cold and which is hot. And now you don't know because they all have the blue valve, you know. They all have blue. But that doesn't mean anything you said, right? Well, it depends on who put, installs it. Yeah. You could see here cold going into the water heater Obviously. and who's hot coming out. Someone who cares plumb that. Yeah. But if I'm on a job and I'm in the middle of nowhere, like here, so blue should be cold, right? Yep. But I have red right here because I ran out of blue. But it's my house, so I know yeah, what blue it is. You know what I mean? That's a that's a minor detail. I mean, I used red for R O D I. Red for R O. Okay. Label uh, every label uh, everything. Only use nuclear grade deionization resin. Okay. Damn, big time right there. What's that? Six stage? That's not that. Yeah. But this is the 150 gallon per day. I need to replace all that. I need to three. You no. Know. Really and, I put this, and I put this little loop on here that nobody else has. So when you install a new carbon block and you turn it on, what I do is I shut this valve off, turn this valve on, stick a hose in here, and I have a little one-gallon bucket that the first 20 seconds of water, it's like straight black dust. I don't want that black dust to go right into here because then this will yeah. get shot. So I put this little thing in which makes it so I can pre-rinse, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. What is that? This? Yeah. This is the, the Palooza booth. Hello, boy. It's the Palooza, the Palooza booth. Slowly. Like Hello, boy? Yeah. Slowly putting her together. Yeah, I kind of like these shallow reefs people do. Yeah, you just can't do any really rock work or anything on it, you know. That's right. I got this here. So there's your thing there. Jesus Christ, bro. Talk about Fluval. I got these. Lifeguard reactors. I got a RO buddy. I got a gang bust of uh, refractometers. I, I I was thinking about getting a new refractor. I was thinking about getting some. Those, how do you feel those about water, Milwaukee? Look, these are those water change pumps that I love. I I get them for twenty, and I gave one to Diver Down Reefer, and he he bought one from me, and he loves it. And then he was at Petco. He saw the same damn thing for 89 bucks. Crazy. Yeah. Stupid I was little. like, what? You saw that post, right? This is my little collection I got going on. Yeah. Reef Co. got the shiniest one. <laughs> I have that hidden reef one, though. There you go. That's right. Yeah. You should have got one of these, dude. I didn't. I didn't ask for Billy Pipes discount. And you got to get one of these, too. I have one of those. I, I ran it through the wash, but I think like the little piece that you can pull off yeah, just, it is like a, there's like a plastic. It's vinyl. So I have. I got my. I have, so I got and my 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 sticker collection right now is Reefco, Billy Pipes, and and uh, Neptunes and Pat Murphy. That's my collection right now. I got a couple upstairs too. Fishy said he was sending me one. I'm going to get a TRC. Or a two upstairs. TRC. Huh? I'm going to get one of those. McCollum's Reef. That's a cool one because I have a yellow watchman Gobi who's been in my tank for like three years now. 
Mm-hmm. And he's like a little dude. I, was, I like McCollum's. Yeah. And I have two more upstairs that I got today that I got to put down here. Where Where's your collection? On the back wall right behind the frag tank, right? No, these I'm actually going to be putting in a frame like this. You're going to do like gonna, some... Yeah, like Phil, Phil came up with the shadow box idea. I really like that. So... I don't know where to put mine, man. I mean, like, I don't want to just take them anywhere. I was thinking about like, no, know, yeah, I have, I have a bunch. I have, yeah, I have a bunch under my canopy, but I want to build a new canopy, so that's why I'm like, you know what? Anything yeah. else I get now? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about putting them like on the back side because I put a cover on the back side of my sump or my my stand. So I was thinking about just like sticking them to the back of that so you can see it every time I show my sump. I don't know. <clears throat> I want to put him somewhere. Good luck. I got the uh, employee of the year award. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Pipes. I got my little coral caddy. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get your lemmings reef, man, or lemons reef, lemons and reef. have like have like a a coral, like a. A cor- like a cartoon coral with lemons, with little with it'd little fins like a, on them. Like a, it'd be like a torch with a bunch of lemons hanging off. You know, I'll have my daughter whip something up next weekend for a, a low mm-hmm. fee, seven five bucks. I, just, I, I want just straight up a, a microphone and a lemon. That's what I'm going to stick with. Well, but it's weird because you don't like add a, a, a visual or like text, but what's that? I don't know. I tried to do it on donkey, whatever you use, or whatever it's called. Mule. Do the mic, and then do the mic, and then lemon, and then oh, the like word YouTube under, the word, and then do the word YouTube underneath, and get them die cut. Die cut looks the best so far. I think. That's what I want. I see some guys like uh, DC. Like DC, his new stickers, they're, you know, they're, that's legit artwork. That's like something that somebody did professionally. Yeah. You know? And I was like, you know what? No, I, I love his, like his and, and, uh, inappropriate reefers. And there's a couple other guys out there that did some really, they had some really nice artwork done. But you know me, I like to keep it simple, unedited, DIY, low budget, low key. So, had my daughter do the crab. I put the little Billy yeah, pipes over it. I like the crab. Yeah, it's, I, I, you know, I thought too. Nobody liked the crab at first, and I'm like, yeah. I said, just imagine. I said, I said to my daughter, I was like, honey, just imagine if you want a little Billy pipe shirt, you can just get like a, a black T-shirt with a pink crab. You know, the same crab but pink. Yeah, or I like the crab. that's a cool like, little cartoon crab. It's cool. I like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I like it. Either way, it's cool. I just got a roll of stickers, a 50 count. And there's the company that makes these stickers, whoever makes them, like when I order the 10, the 10 count, they'll send like 13, they'll send like 13 or 14. And I just ordered a a roll of 50 and they sent 73. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, whatever, keep it coming. Run it. Do it again. I was going to do like a limited edition crab with like seaweed behind it on like a sand dune, you know, to get some more color in there, you know, and have it die cut and it'd be a cool design. But then I'm like, yeah, I'll wait. When my daughter comes over next weekend, I'll have her whip some. Like when she did fishies, dude, I was like, oh my God, how did you do that so fast? Like, I'm sure it's the simplest thing that she did, but I was like, damn, I'm still learning how to send emails. (laughs) Right. Like everybody at my work's like, you can't fax after, you know, January 1st, 2019, because I fax everything out to my plumbers out of state. Sure. And I'm like, well, I don't know how to scan and, and email, man. What the freak? Like, so I'm taking pictures of the computer and sending it in emails. And they're like, you can't do that. I'm like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So we got a deal on a light fixture for M1. 
What's that? No, nah, I don't know yet. I got to see how much my pump, if my, if I can get the Jabo DCS 7,000, which is what I'm running now, on, if I can get, if I can get that for a hundred dollars, huh? me right now, man, come on. Well, I got to see how much that pump's going to cost, man. Jeez. Okay. All right. You want to, I'll give you my, I'll give how about this? All right. Would, would you, would you, would you, would you trade me? Would you trade me my escape for a Mercedes SUV? No. Come on now, bruh. Yeah, you're right. I look and see. You know what I'm saying? I gotta look and see. I didn't. Even, I don't even know how much. I don't remember what I paid for this pump. If it was 200 bucks and it's close, then it's one thing. But if it's like 100 dollars for this pump, this is a 350 dollar pump. No, 299. Actually, 249. Yeah, don't wholesale. Well, yeah, Billy Pipes discount. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going hey man, what I say? What did I? What did I save you so far? Like four or five hundred dollars? I don't know. You helped me out a little bit. Appreciate it. Well, pretty much. If you would have ordered that, pretty much when you ordered your stuff, you got a free tank with it. If you look at it like that. No, you know what I said it on the live stream. I was like, honestly, I was like, from the deal I got with the Marine Depot winnings, I'm pretty sure I got a calcium reactor, an alkalinity checker, a needle valve, a Tank AI primes and a yeah. 75 crack. Yeah, you had a full setup from that. Yeah. <laughs> Run it, all of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you came back at the right time, dude. And wait till you make the video about about winning the BRS thing. People are gonna be pissed. No, son, I can't wait. They said they, oh, they said it out immediately. <laughs> I told I Fishy, I told Fishy he was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I know, man. The guy wins every. I said, if he wins know. this, I if he wins, <laughs> when did this happen? When do I win stuff? Where, where did that <laughs> I said to Fishy, I said he came back at the right time, man. Right? There's just, I don't right know, dude, dude. The the Marine Depot was like, comment on our YouTube video and you're entered. So, and you know how many people entered that free thing I, at I BRS? No, I entered. I just commented. The, the thousands of people entered the BRS thing. Thousands. You know, but BRS has a new giveaway every week. So yeah, it's, it's so it's easy for people to just boom hit it. You so know what I mean? Have, uh, so like today, I told this girl that I work with that that I won that, that giveaway, and she's like, I told her, all right, well, why don't you just have a bunch of your friends as everybody enter? That's so right. she's like, all right now, tell them all, give me a dollar, and I'll turn it into a million. <laughs> Trying to get, trying to give me some watch time minutes right now, uh, at the moment. How many people watching? I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> but dude, it's like I go outside and smoke a cigarette, come back, and there's still like 17, 18 people watching. It's crazy. Well, I appreciate you. You got to get your streams to be more interesting. Stick with it. My my stream is more interesting when I'm not talking. Uh, we have just 11 right now. I actually was going to get off earlier. when Right when you joined, I was like, kind of like ending the stream. I was just getting like kind of bored. Yeah, it took, it took me forever, man. I had a lot of stuff to do. Uh, Meldium said, what did you win from BRS? Dude, I got an email this morning that I won just from like you go on their website and you type in... Your name and an email and that's it. Email address. Yeah, done. Do it every week. You won the Alka. What is it called? The Alka. The Hanna. I won the Hanna test kit. I, 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 I always thought. I, I remember when I remember. Listen, uh, you're going off on a ramble. God damn it, Meldium. He won every test kit Hanna makes. No, but I think they. I, th I think there might be a salinity one, but I don't remember. It is. It is. The it's a. Kit on it's their like website a always Shut up. Shut it's up. Four different testers. Oh my god. Why don't you can you not hear me? I can. But I got then like gunshots behind me now because somebody shut your mouth. TV. It's like a $350 prize. I think it's like $235. <laughs> it says BRS's website anyway. But I think there was the salinity probe thrown in. It's where, in there. I just told you that, but you were yapping. I can't. You can't. I don't know what I want because it's just. There, if, if, if anybody think Mike yaps too much, oh, absolutely. Put a put a a smiley face emoji in the chats if you think Mike doesn't shut up.
<laughs> yeah, it's it's all about the weed. I'm sorry, I I smoke weed, and as soon as I smoke, I talk too much. High reef, that's what it's called. High reef. I just put a smiley face in the chat, by the way. <laughs> it's called the Hannah High Reef. It's two hundred, yeah, two hundred thirty-five bucks. Yeah, but I think I remember seeing the salinity checker in the. Oh my god, it's got a pH probe, um, the fo- the phosphate ULR, alkalinity, calcium, and it comes with some reagents. Yep. There's there's no salinity pen in it. I know. I thought I- I thought I saw the picture of it, like it was a special thing. When yeah, when they were showing the what the winner gets, I think I I think the Salinity Probe was in that picture too. If not, either way, I I, I really want the Salinity Probe. I'd gladly give out the pH probe for the Salinity Probe. Or not? Probe, yeah, I think that's check. why I think that's why I think they said it was a three hundred dollar ticket because it came with a Salinity Probe. I hope so. I want that thing. Let me look at the text you sent me. Maybe it's in that. Either way, pretty cool, though. Well, it's yeah. cool when you, like, randomly win stuff. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Water's coming in. Some pump is kicking. That's your sub pump? Yeah, I plumbed it into the sewer line but it's too close to the kitchen sink. So it sucks the, the water out of the trap temporarily because it's looking for suction, you know, it's looking for that vent line and it, this is the closest. I do it like that. So it goes into the sewer line out to the street, you know, instead of into my backyard, creating a flood. Hey, I seen something the other day on my phone. I was like looking through like some old stuff. And I saw reefing with Billy Pipes as your as your as your name. Remember that? What was it? Reefing with Billy Pipes. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that the other day. It was like one of my like screenshots from like a couple years ago. All right, that's it for me, bro. Going upstairs. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because I'm ready to. Everybody in the chats, I appreciate you guys watching. Billy, it's always a pleasure. We'll talk. Um, Hang out. When I end this, hang out. Let's talk for a second. Um, But everybody else, I appreciate you guys watching. Billy, I got to go. I'm going upstairs. All right, well, give me a second. Let me talk to you for a couple minutes. No, I'm going to freak upstairs. See, you're yapping. Don't be yapping. I want to talk to you. Talk to you. Dude, you talk to me tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. Everybody, I appreciate you guys watching. Billy Pipes, we'll talk soon. Later, guys.